We um uh, have already broken our resolution to start these things earlier. I apologize. I apologize. But we'll get into it. We'll get into it. I'll make sure the things are working as I do um, every time I forget how these things work. So. All right. Ugh. Sorry. Okay. Um, I think, I think we're good. So, um, when should I put the disclaimer or say the disclaimer? Um, we'll get there. We'll get there. We'll do, up, up, um, oops, not that. Mm. Oop. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> we are back to our regularly not quite scheduled program. <laughs> Um, but yes, we are doing flight instructor practical test standards for airplane. Oops. Technical subject areas. We've gone through most of them. We've done that one. Not that one. Um, not that one. We're on this one! Yay! Principles of Flight, Task Delta. Hello! How's it going? Um, it, it is. It's going it's going well. Um yeah, it's it's go it's 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 going. It's 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 a new year, we're working on stuff. Um, and getting back into the things. Uh but but yeah, we're gonna see how we're gonna see how this goes. But yes, how are you? I hope you're well. I hope you had Wonderful holidays, New Year, Christmas, all the things. Um, yeah, but so yes, yeah, so we're going back. This was the first Principles of Flight was the first um, lesson plan that I made, um, and it needed revamping. It's one of the big ones, so uh, I started reworking it into a PowerPoint rather than what I had before. We'll get to that, um, but. This is what this is. Principles of flight. Task D. Objective. To determine that the applicant exhibits instructional knowledge of the elements of principles of flight by describing oh, whoosh, airfoil design characteristics, oh, whoosh, airplane stability and controllability, oh, whoosh, turning tendency, torque effect, oh, whoosh, load factors in airplane design, and oh, whoosh, wingtip vortices and precautions to be taken. As I'm reading these, we'll, we'll, we'll see. They're all in it. Um... However, there is a thing with it. So, but da 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 da, boom! Yay! <laughs> the PowerPoint. So far, so good. Yes, good on this end. Flew through, flew through clouds for the first time last week, which was awesome. Um, so how 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 uh did it go? Well, I'm sure it was like awesome just in general. But how did the flying go? How did it feel, like? different i assume yes yes i would i would love to fly in the clouds more i remember the first um approach that i did i was like completely on on my instruments but i definitely felt that pull of like wanting to look outside and then like as i kind of like went into that a little bit more um, I felt myself getting disoriented almost immediately, and then I went right back on instruments, and I was like, okay, I get it. I totally get it now. And then another time, we were just flying en route, and yeah, getting 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 into the clouds. It was a little bit of bumpily wumpilies, and that was interesting, but kind of kept it pretty, pretty straight and level, so that's good. Heidi ho heidi ho How's it going? Good to see you. Good to see you. Just do instrument at night. You won't be able to look outside. Um, true, true, true. Um, however, yes, you can. Hello, by the way. How's it going? How's how is it? How is it going? Tell me things, people. Um, yes, the uh, if, if you look out. Oh, sorry, I still have this going, and that's just um, uh, irritating to me. Um, uh, you get to instrument at night, but then you have all of those other um or night flying somewhat instrumenty, but then you also have those um, illusions that can throw you off even more. <laughs> so yes, what's cracking the malakin? Um, um, well, I could say not eggs. <laughs> I don't know. Would that be uh, offensive to chicken? I'm not sure. 
Uh, yes, we're we're gonna work on principles of flight. So I welcome feedback. Um, particularly a first question. I I am I'm between this um picture and this picture <laughs> for the um intro picture here. Um, I I like this one because it's basic and it's the one from the fact. Uh, but then this one is I I, I like the visual. So I'm not I'm not I'm not sure thoughts. Four, four, four forces of flight, thrust, lift, money, and money. Okay, now I want to put that one in. <laughs> I'll have to remember that, because that is funny. Uh, but yes, so this is, this is, uh, I, okay, so here's, here's my disclaimer for this one. Um, I did, I did it on the whiteboard as a progressive, um, oh my gosh, what's the word? as a progressive visual where I would be drawing on the whiteboard as I was going over all the things. We'll get to that. Um, and so I basically just over the holidays, what I could do basically was take my lesson plan and just shove it into a PowerPoint. And then this week I've been working on making it proper. And I've gotten through three of the four forces of flight, uh, but not weight because weight has its whole entire um, own lesson plan that I would kind of like to put together and really have solid together so that they can kind of flow into one another if necessary and yeah, all that. So, um, it is, this is my first PowerPoint on this sort of thing. So it, it might, it might be a little, ugh. Um, and I think I only got to practice it like once <laughs> and I did notice that I had missed some things. Um, uh, yeah. So, uh, just bear 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 with me <laughs> uh but otherwise we will we will we'll 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 do we'll do the thing so principles of flight area two task d um figuring out which picture i'm gonna put on there again the money 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 one um is also in the runny 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 <laughs> sorry anyway moving on all right, so principles of flight. In order to safely and efficiently operate an aircraft, pilots must understand how aircraft move in space. And that is along all three axes. So we have our vertical axis around which our aircraft turns left and right, or yaws left and right. Um, our uh, lateral axis, which is like along the wings, uh, along around which... Um, our aircraft noses up and noses up and down or pitches up and down. And then we have our uh, longitudinal axis around which is along from the nose to the tail around which our aircraft uh, rolls. Um, so yes, and there are various effects on the movement of the aircraft, which includes um, aspects of the environment as well as the design and loading of the aircraft. Use the one you put on Discord. Okay, I will. I'll have to check it out. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> um, so yes, with that comes our four forces of flight. We have our lift, weight, thrust, and drag. Lift being our upward force, weight, downward force, uh, thrust forward, and drag opposing to the rearward. So in straight and level unaccelerated flight, these forces are balanced. And that doesn't mean, as this one shows, um, that all of the forces are equal. It is the opposing forces which are equal. So lift equals weight. Can you see my cursor? Yes. Lift equals weight and thrust equals drag. That's the correct relationship. So keep that in mind. First one we'll go more in depth on. So I was right, right at the end when I was fi like final, final practice sort of a thing for this before doing this. Um, I was looking for a picture. I wanted a picture just to kind of get, I don't know. I, to, I did. I had a lot more visual stuff on my whiteboard thing that it was a little bit difficult to find exactly what I wanted just in pictures on the internet. Um, so... I did. I was looking for a picture here and I couldn't find one. And then I forgot to uh, just redo the thing. So that's why this is the way it is. Apologies. So thrust, 
the engine, so I'll just use this right here if you can see. So the engine in here drives our propeller and the propeller is what moves our aircraft forward. However, it is not necessarily in a straight line. We have four left turning tendencies which cause our aircraft to tend to turn to the left. Those being torque, P factor, spiraling slipstream, and gyroscopic precession. Due to the engine and propeller forces, these are more pronounced at lower air speeds, higher angle of attack, we'll get to that definition in a little bit, um, and higher power and RPM. For example, during takeoff. Oh God, sorry, hang on, something happened. Uh, except when your ground speed is zero. Um, what? Oh, 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 right. Uh, well, hang on. Which, which, which part did you say that for? Because moving the, the moving forward part. E e e e e e yes. However, we're not going to get that in depth. <laughs> not yet. We'll, we'll bring that up. Um, but yes, it's more of the forward, forward force. The top one. Y Wait, the top one. This, this one? <laughs> but yes, like, are, are, you going, are you saying like the for forward movement where it's like it's not going to be moving forward when the ground speed is? Oh, sure, 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 sure. Shoot. Uh, wait, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Um, uh, I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't even get yeah, I, w I wouldn't even go in into that just because, like, it is. You really want to keep that relationship distinct, that it's, like, it's the lift equaling the weight, thrust equaling the drag. If all of them are equal, it doesn't necessarily m m m m matter. <laughs> I don't know. I, I would have to come back to that. But my, my, my main thing is making sure that they recognize that it's the... The, the things that we care the most about is the opposing forces being equal and not all of them together, for the most part. Maybe. We'll, we'll see. <laughs> so, four left-turning tendencies. We'll go into those. We have torque for our first one. So, what that is, is based on Newton's third, um, for every action, there is an equal and opposing reaction. So, the propeller is turning clockwise, as you can see here. Again, you can see my cursor. Yes. Um, propeller is turning clockwise as seen from the cockpit. So what that does is as that's turning like that, the, um, aircraft, the rest of the body of the aircraft is rolling to the left, which creates a left turning tendency. Um, that also comes into play, um, even more during takeoff because that rolling motion, um, forces that left gear downward, which makes it, um, uh, grab the pavement more and turn it to the left as well. So for um, for that um, torque reaction, the left wing is actually designed to have more lift to kind of balance that out a little bit. P factor. P factor has to do with asymmetrical loading of the propeller. And what that is, is if you can see here, the propeller is zoop, zoop, zoop going, right? Um, at those higher angles, that downward moving um that downward moving blade on the right side is taking a is at a higher angle to the wind and it's taking a bigger bite of that air than the propeller going upwards on the left so because that um downward moving blade on the right kind of whoop makes it um yaw toward yes i will have to yaw I feel like that one's a yaw, but now I have to, now, now I have to, hang on. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Sorry, 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 sorry. It is. Because, 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 because the, um, the, the, okay, hang on. <laughs> the, um, see, and you know what? Um, I've just realized I do want a this way picture here as well, because it is kind of, well, I can use this one. So your uh, bigger bite of air going like this means the propeller is whoop, 
moving forward voop more that way. So that right side of the propeller yaws it to the left. So that's what P factor is. Sorry. <laughs> of course, this is for newbies. Yes, but I do, I do appreciate those like thoughts and stuff because it does get me thinking. Because going into this one, this picture, I didn't get until I was looking for a picture for this. And I completely forgot about this portion of torque and it kind of threw me a little bit. So anyway, sorry. Um, g'day, g'day. Oh, hello. How are you? That, okay. Hey, hey. <laughs> it's kind of, it's kind of weird seeing you on the YouTube side, but Twi <gasps> Twitch is blacklisting your browser for some reason. Well, that's not good. Well, happy you could be here in any form. Enjoyed your video. How's it going? And hello, non CFI, CFI friend. No, non CFI friend. Take out that second CFI. <laughs> How's it going? And hello, how are you, Mo? Sounds like I've seen the Wizard of Oz. Yes, because, 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 because of the wonderful things planes does. <laughs> Forgot, am I trying to go to the airlines? <sighs> yeah, yeah, pro probably. I mean, that's at this point, yes. Um, yeah, yeah, I, I, uh, I have a, uh, somewhat of a story, but we'll get to that. Um, yeah, 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 it's, it's, it's kind of, yeah, yeah, we'll just go with that. <laughs> We're seeing where it goes. How's that sound? <laughs> um, third left turning tendency. We have spiraling slipstream. That is also called the corkscrew effect. So what happens is, again, our propeller is voop vooping clockwise, as seen from the cockpit. That creates a slipstream of air voop, 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 around the fuselage, which force creates boom on this vertical stabilizer only above there. Uh, there is no, there's nothing for that force to come into contact with below. So there's nothing to balance out this force that goes this way. So it uh, pushes that tail to the right, which causes the nose to go left, therefore turning left, yawing to the left. Um, gyroscopic precession. The propeller has gyroscopic properties, which is uh, it feels a force. Um, I kind of don't like the word feel now that I now that I put that in there. I'm going to have to go back through this and make notes. <laughs> um, yes, it. Yeah. Some other word than feels, but it experiences a force 90 degrees forward in the plane of rotation. So, for example, a tailwheel on takeoff. So, um, what that is, so we don't do, the gyroscopic precession doesn't come into play with nose wheel aircraft as much. But for um, our learning purposes... The tailwheel on takeoff, so the, the tailwheel is like this, right? And then as it is going and the tailwheel comes off of the ground, that creates a force on the front, uh, the top of that propeller. But because of the gyroscopic properties, it is felt in the uh, 90 degrees forward in the plane of rotation. So since it's going clockwise, um, the force ends up pushing the right side of the propeller, causing it to once again, nose to the left. And I'm probably going <laughs> to, I should have my little plane. It would probably make a lot more sense than me just doing hand signals. I'm sorry. But yeah, so that's that one. Um, also comes in with um, stalls. Uh, I believe my instructor and I talked about at one point. So yeah, that was, that was an interesting conversation. Oops. Oh, gosh. Glad I like the video. Yes, planning a new one. Monday about multi-engine safety. I am excited because that is, that's one of the next things that I'm going to be doing. And yeah, that will. That'll be interesting. I'm looking forward to it. Starting CFI. You're starting CFI training on Monday. You're a little nervous watching this. Oh, God. See if you can get some tips. Oh, no, don't. Nope, nope, nope. Nothing. <laughs> I am. I'm. I'm. I'm a big baby. I. I will. I'm a big baby. I'm really. I'm really nervous about this. I'm so many months into this training, and I still. Yeah. So don't. No learning. No. Disclaimer below. No learning anything. I'm not teaching. You're not learning. <laughs> if 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 you do, if you want to take things 
to then go to your instructor and question, and please don't say where you got them because I'll be so embarrassed. <laughs> um, but no, it will. It's it is. It's a lot of fun. It's enjoyable to get into all of the information and and yeah, and like the flying, be able to do it from the right seat, and yeah, r- just really getting into it. But again, for me, I am I. I want to do a good job, but I feel like I don't know anything, and I don't. I can't speak properly. I keep. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. we're 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 working through it. But I'm sure yours will go better. <laughs> it's de- it is definitely a me thing. I overthink things way too much, and yeah, yeah. So just don't overthink things. There, there's your tip for the day. <laughs> only the only tip. Except in aviation, instead of following the yellow brick road, you follow the yellow taxi line. Yes. Yes, that's perfect. What airline, oh God, what, what airliner would I like to fly if I could fly any of them? I, I don't even know. I, I wouldn't be able to tell you what any of them are. Um, uh, I know the couple that my CFI has flown. Would I be able to pick them out of a lineup? No. <laughs> so I, 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 I don't, I don't, I don't know. Get, get, give me give me possibilities what what would you like to fly <laughs> i'll steal them no i'm just kidding no yeah i I'll, i will just take i'll take i'll take what i can get you've been doing a lot of ads and flying lately how is it going oh, we will we'll have to get back into that at some point so much fun uh your guess uh, you're learning more of the process of teaching and disseminating information as opposed to the info itself. Right, and that is. That's probably that's probably a good place to start. <laughs> um, so are you working through the aviation instructor's handbook or do you have a different um, like system or setup? You just heard me say uh, you cannot take you cannot Scooby Doo <laughs> that that <laughs> taking things out of context don't learn learn nothing learn not from me there we go from a very experienced instructor you know when acceleration equals zero all forces are equal well there you go perfect (laughs) i'll have to keep that in mind um and no 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 (laughs) yes as in thrust equals drag equals equals weight equals lift but then at that point do we really care? <laughs> well, okay, hang on. I will. This this is gonna get me into like a thinking spiral. So I'll have to I'll have to go over it um when I, when I'm not here because otherwise it'll just be me sitting and you'll just be watching the wheels turn or clank. <laughs> no, no learning. You're not allowed. Not allowed. As I continue on my practice, as on my practice thing. Yeah, drag. Drag is the rearward force counteracting the forward force of thrust. We have two types of drag. See, here it is. We have induced, which is more common at lower speeds, and parasite, which is more common at higher speeds. Going into that more, induced is due to the creation of lift. It has that initial change from straight and level flight. Straight and level unaccelerated flight causes that. So lift is usually vertical, but that initial change... um, tilts that upward force backwards, um, which then creates a rearward force in the form of induced drag. And then we have parasite drag. We have three form or three different types of parasite drag. The first one being form drag, which is the resistance from air moving around the plane and its parts. I wasn't sure I liked how this was worded, so that's why it's red, sorry. Uh, how, um, and that is basically how smoothly the airflow separates and then rejoins after moving around that object. So as you can see here, I hope you can, um, the, uh, yeah, so the airflow is going like that and then it goes around this, um, flat plate, uh, object and it gets really turbulent, uh, back here and then eventually rejoins it. So that's a lot of drag. Then we have a sphere comes around, still a little turbulent, but not as much, rejoins. Then this one is even less turbulent, but still is less drag, less parasite drag. And then we have our sphere inside a housing, which pretty smoothly separates and rejoins um, 
uh, passing over it. So that has the least amount of form drag. Skin friction drag is uh, created by the friction between the air and the surface of the object. So if you have a smooth surface, you have zoop, a small amount of friction. But if you have a rough surface, you have a large amount of friction. Final parasite drag is interference um, drag, which is the air moving around different parts of the aircraft and then interfering, creating even more drag. So um, air moving around the wing and ar around the fuselage, those two interfering, create drag. The strut and the wing, the fuselage and the wing, all of those where like different moving air comes together and uh, interfe interferes, um, creating drag. The smaller the angle, the more drag there is because that means that they're... Uh... So like if you had a... Hang on. A wider angle, a wider angle um, there's less difference in how the air is moving, and so it creates less interference. So the, the, the lower, the smaller the... Oh, God, I'm sorry. The smaller the angle is, the more different the air is potentially moving and creates more uh, turbulence. Um... You just got the aviation instructor handbook in, so plan it to use that. Yes, it is. It's it's a good one. Yes, I did. I, I ended up reading through it uh, eventually. I started reading it, and then I heard a thing, and then I stopped reading it, and then I, like, it did. I just, I needed it for my own sort of um, how how I learn best, and so I went over that. Also, I used the um, Todd Shellnut. FOI videos where he goes through all of them. I've heard I've heard things from different people about that, um, but I I'm planning on going back through and doing those again to refresh and get more of the um, what are they called acronyms. Um, so yeah, if if you're interested in that, one question you have he's oh has teaching lessons on stream helped me in improving how to explain the concepts. Yes, you're planning to teach to some friends and family to practice. Yes, I, I would definitely say so because I uh, I will. I'll have to go back through my old videos because I was <laughs> I was so nervous and I felt so stupid trying to explain things out loud. Um, but it did. It really did help. For, not on stream. I started out when I was making my lesson plans teaching to stuffed animal <laughs> just to have something that I wasn't just I don't know it that 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 helped me and then once I got through that a little bit more then bringing it to stream so it wasn't completely um <laughs> um a, a pain to watch uh but yes definitely not just for the CFI for all of my ratings I've been doing this and it definitely does help going through it over and over and finding those things where it seems to make sense to me on paper or in my mind or speaking it out loud but then as I'm actually uh, addressing it to people you do notice things so yes I, w I would definitely um, pra practice teaching with actual people, especially when, yeah, they don't necessarily know all of the things. And so um, they they can't fill in the blanks that people who know what you're already know what you're talking about. Um, yeah, you, you can't have holes in your explanations because they're not going to be able to, again, fill in those blanks, if that makes sense. So, yeah. <laughs> So, well, I, I would. I would definitely definitely suggest that. I want to start doing um, flights with uh, somebody somebody I'm close to. Haven't gotten to there, but that's definitely going to help as well. So, yeah, that's that's a little bit probably more more down the line, but it, it is. The answer the answer is yes. <laughs> Sorry, I'm really going to bring comedy to this stream. Oh, thank you. It's not just me <laughs> struggling through things and being entertaining about it. Uh, so I could never make it through a stream without cracking. <laughs> well, I'm glad. I hope so, which is great because you need a good laugh. Well, I am. I'm. I'm. I'm glad. I hope. I hope it's. 
I don't I don't know I don't know how um uh comedic it is at the moment, but we'll definitely get there when we get to the flight. But I, I appreciate that. I'm happy. Such a drag. I know, I know. Look at all of this drag. That was a good one. I liked it. Difference between form drag and interference drag. Okay, so the form is just moving around. So like the um uh like antennas and stuff. If the air is moving around the antenna, it's not interfering with any other part. Um so it's 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 those one off pieces. You make does that does that make sense? And then the interference drag is when the two pieces of the aircraft come together. So then it's the air the airflow around and so it's the airflow around the fuselage. So the fuselage has its slipstream, right? And then the wing has its own um airflow over it. So then that slipstream and that airflow over the wing coming together and that creates that interference drag. Does that make sense? I, I just realized I had a oh gosh, do I show this now? <laughs> I will. Um so since you asked the question, this is what I had before. This is what I started out with for this lesson. Again, again, it started out with just the airplane and um then hang on why can't i find things it started out with just the airplane and as i went through the lesson plan i'd add all the things in so it looks messy as you know but it 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 made sense at the time so in so here's my interference drag can you see can you see oh shoot hang on uh hang on you can't see my interference drag there so i i kind of do want to bring that in a bit better so he uh can you, so here is interference drag um you got your i think yeah yep um you got your wing wing wash you got your spiraling slipstream and that comes together and this slipstream is going like this this wing stuff is going like that and that coming together creates this drag so yeah so I kind of like that imagery. It's not very good, but I like that imagery for that just because of, I guess, that question. Um, so I will. I'll have to. I'll have to figure that out, maybe potentially. So yes. Uh, yes, you started watching Touch on that. Yes, I've heard. One thing that I heard about those, I I enjoyed them, but I can kind of see where they were coming from. That. He he's a little what's the word? Oh my god, I can't think of it. Like Oh my oh, there is there's a perfect word and I can't think of what it is. Intense. He's a little intense. That's what it is. A little intense. Um but but it is. I think the explanations are good and how he explains things and the acronyms and stuff like that so yeah i i did i i enjoyed them and i'm probably gonna go through them again you've already cracked up a few times a few times yes nailed it <laughs> i'm glad hope so great entertainment thank you <laughs> uh always thought uh it was just form and skin because form covers the shape of the plane inclusive of all different angles what have you um n no so like the <sighs> It, it's very similar, I guess, but it, it is. There is that distinction between it's not just the drag from the parts of the plane. It is how the different... Because it is. So like, so like this one. The air is just moving around the one piece, and that's what creates that. So when you have two pieces, can you, can you, again, cursor, when, if you have two pieces, then you have two, and I'm using the, yes, I'm using, I'm using this one, but just for, um, yeah, clear, I don't know, clarification purposes. So if you have two plates, right, you're going to have the same turbulence behind both of them, but then those turbulences are also going to be interfering, creating even more drag, and that is classified as its own in interference drag if that makes sense uh also does game night sometimes and that's hilarious too. i love game night uh i 
we'll see honestly it's it's probably yes we usually do <sighs> sundays is is usually reserved for game nights but we don't get to do those very often at the moment <laughs> unfortunately but yes they're fun picasso picasso yes pretty much the later years greatest ideas come from messy whiteboard sketches it was it was a lot of fun it was a lot of fun doing this and it, it did it definitely helped me oh i guess you can't see but yeah it definitely helped me to kind of put things together kind of organize them a bit better i started using more colors um to organize even more and yeah so but it it does. It does end up being a little bit messy, and I like the idea of having everything on the PowerPoint so I don't have to be trying to remember things. So, yeah. So, okay. We'll, we'll see. Um, Pepper says, hi, hello, Pepper. How is Pepper? Did Pepper have good holidays as well? Oh, God. Form drag is from the pressure gradient from the displacement of fluid. No, okay, interference drag is structures creating conflicting air flows around the aircraft. I like that. I like that a lot. It it scared me at first, but I was like, yes, absolutely. Your best attempt at defining it. Yeah, it, and that's why. That's why they do end up being distinct is because it's sort of a, uh, yeah, it is. It's that overlapping thing. So form drag describes that of the bigger pieces of the plane and interference is smaller. Mm, mm, no, uh, it's more like one piece versus multiple pieces so so okay so the the wing the wings themselves also have form drag it's the the it is the form of the aircraft right that creates the drag it's how the air moves around the piece as a whole right and then so like so, so again, as the air moves around the one piece, uh, it separates, creates turbulence or not based on how aerodynamic it is, um, and then by that, yeah, turbulence creating the drag. Oh God. And then the interference is when two of those pieces come together. So it's like again, like if two flat plates each with their own um, separation and rejoining come together and conflict. So yeah, it's form as a whole, interference. So like this one, interference drag is caused by mixing air flows. Yes, my cursor is still You followed Restream Bot on YouTube? <laughs> is 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 re Oh yeah, I guess Restream Bot would be on YouTube because I have it on YouTube. I was going to say him, but it's a bot, so maybe it is a him. I don't know. Pepper had a good holiday. You did a secret Santa at work and he got the gift not you. <laughs> I mean, you don't even work. <laughs> don't even work there. That's funny. <laughs> He doesn't even work there. I mean, what was it fun for you to have him get it? Because then it worked out. <laughs> so yeah, so that was that was our drag. So that was our um forward movement, our rearward movement, and now we'll move on to our upward movement. So you need forward movement in order to create lift. Uh Relative wind is what is required. And what that is, is the rearward movement of air acting on the wings and other airfoils, which we'll talk about, um, which is parallel and in the opposite direction of our flight path. So if our airfoil is like tilted like this and our flight path, if the plane itself is going this way, our relative wind is parallel to and in the opposite direction of that flight path. Same if the airfoil is like so and our flight path is more downward, relative wind is then parallel to that direction and in the opposite direction. And again, forward, slightly up, and relative wind is parallel and in the opposite direction. And that is controlled by the pilot 
um, based on pitch and then constant, uh, consistent, consistent flight. So the relative wind ends up being parallel to the motion, not to the ground. So in the climb, relative wind is coming like that, straight and level flight coming like that. And um, in a descent, it is then coming like that. So again, parallel to motion, not the ground. I recall when I started, I did not quite understand that. So I want to make sure to get that in there. So, yeah. Oops. Why isn't it going? So yeah, so that is relative wind. You're in stitches over it. You can stop laughing. Well, that sounds like a win to me. <laughs> That's awesome. What, what was it? I am curious. So airfoils, we mentioned. Airfoils are aerodynamic surfaces meant to create lift, wings, propeller, and the parts of these are our leading edge here, trailing edge here. We have our upper camber or curvature, lower camber, curvature. So this upper camber is more curved than our lower camber. Keep that in mind. And then we have our mean camber, which is uh, right in the middle of the lower and upper camber. And then we have our cord line which is um, a straight line from the leading edge of the wing to the trailing edge of the wing. And the cord line creates with our relative wind, again, um, the air movement in the uh, parallel to opposite direction of the flight path. Um, that angle between the relative wind and the cord line is our angle of attack. So you need a non-zero angle of attack, so some angle of attack, to create lift. So relative wind comes like that, cord line is like so, non-zero angle of attack creates lift. So the aircraft is designed to have the wing at an incline, um, uh, even as it's on the ground. So it has that like slight, slight incline so that it will have a non-zero angle of attack in order to create lift. So the creation of lift, keep in mind, air is a fluid, it has substance, so it is denser near the earth and thinner up high, um, or as it gets higher, and it exerts force when it moves. So as it moves around an airfoil, the camber affects the speed of the air. So there's less curvature or camber on the lower, um, on the lower part of the airfoil, and more curvature on the upper um, upper side of the airfoil. So that creates uh, different speeds um, around the bottom and the upper. Slower airflow on the bottom, faster airflow on the top creates lower pressure at the top, higher pressure on the bottom. And that differential, with that differential, the wing uh, lifts into the lower pressure. Energy management. So our engine power creates our thrust and our lift. The force from that power, uh, I, I'm not sure I like, ooh, I can highlight, sorry. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not sure I like this um, wording. Uh, it was a little bit of a last minute adjustment there, uh, but yes. So the force from that engine power splits between our forward mo movement and our upper upward, sorry, movement in the form of airspeed forward and altitude upward. And that is controlled by our angle of attack or our pitch. Um, so as the, as the wing adjusts, that will create more lift or, and, and or less speed. So because the upward movement relies on the forward movement, we uh, pitch for our airspeed and power for our altitude. So we decide on the airspeed that we want and we um, pitch for that. And if we need more altitude, we add, or if we want to change our altitude, we increase or decrease power. So for a given airspeed, a greater angle of attack will um, result in a greater amount of lift to a point. So for example, if our if we're going 100 miles per hour with a, I wanted to change this to a five, I think. I was thinking about it and then I'm not sure. So if we had a five degree angle of attack um, going 100 miles per hour, uh, we will 
uh, have less lift than if we had 10 degrees angle of attack, um, still going that 100 miles per hour. Uh, because that power is getting split, that also means that there's more total power in our second scenario. I was, I was going to do um, the five degrees because I was going to do the whole x plus y, uh, x plus 2y equals more than x plus y, where the 100 miles per, yeah. But I'm not, I'm not sure the whole um, n number, number is just for, what's the word? I had a word for this that I was using, demonstration purposes, just numbers for demonstration purposes and not actual numbers sort of a thing, but we'll see. Again, I apologize. I, it, it does. This still needs, this still needs some work, but we're, we're getting through it. Um, wording is accurate, can point that Cessna's nose in the air and the engine will negate some of its weight lift just won't be enough to keep it in the air. R right. I mean, I wasn't sure I liked create if that, if, 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 if that's what we're talking about, like, I mean, it, it, it does, but yeah, yeah, I'm not, I'm, I wasn't entirely sure, but yes, exactly. <laughs> but well, we're getting to that greater angle of attack, greater amount equals greater amount of lift to a point. Dun, dun, dun. That point being stall. So, uh, an increase in lift. <laughs> Thank you for the segue. <laughs> and also that imagery. Um, so yes, increase in lift also increases our drag. Um, so our critical angle of attack is about at 15 to 18 degrees, um, beyond which, um, there's too much drag in order to, uh, too much drag versus lift. So that 15 to 18 degrees, um, is our critical angle of attack. That is at any airspeed. And what happens is the wing stops flying. Air cannot flow smoothly over its upper surface and therefore it detaches. So we have our 15 degree critical angle of attack separation point. Beyond that, we have separated airflow. Lift is reduced. So it cannot counteract that weight, which is necessary to keep it in the air. Um, but again, it's lift isn't gone. It is reduced. So how to avoid and or recover from a stall, keeping a mental map of what your angle of attack is at any given point is good to have in general, maintaining that and then reducing the angle of attack when it's getting close to or past that point reduce that angle of attack. Um, keeping in mind, again, you can stall at any airspeed in any attitude. It's about the air moving around the airfoils and not the position of the aircraft itself. So an initial change in air movement can lead to a loss of lift forces. Not sure I like that either, but we'll uh, go with it. <laughs> <clears throat> Don't wings create lift? Not the engine. So the, you need forward movement to create lift. So as long as the aircraft is moving forward and there's enough, enough force, enough power, um, that, that forward movement, hang on again, again, hang on, hang on. You know what? I'm going to go back to my <laughs> this thing. So where is it? <laughs> I'll see if I can find it. I thought I had a uh, somewhat of a better. No, maybe I don't. <laughs> I think it might have been on a different. Shoot. Well, so, so it is. So again, you need the, you need excess power to create lift. So the power goes first to the forward movement. And when there's excess power, that turns into lift. So again, so, so, so yes. So without, 
again, yes, without the engine, you still need that forward movement. Imagine a shutoff Cessna being behind a 737 doing an engine run that Cessna is going to take off. So, yes, so again, so that's going to be – oh, sorry. I thought something went wonky. So you need forward – sorry, forward force being relative wind. Hang on. So when you have – where's relative wind? So you have your shutoff Cessna behind the 737, which is probably not going to be <laughs> a good thing to begin with. You're getting your relative wind from that, and that will do, do the thing. So that relative wind is doing what the engine creates that forward – forward movement <laughs> so 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 for for us to have a controlled <laughs> lift uh, we require that engine and forward movement so then that relative to create to create that relative wind we need to create the forward movement which creates the relative wind whereas that's just giving us relative wind and woof yeah if that makes sense. <laughs> so yes. Um, wingtip vortices. Bullying me at this point? I hope not. That's not very nice. You're, you're going to have to answer to chicken. He ain't no chicken. <laughs> Sorry. Wingtip vortices. So, um, so yeah. So that was stall. We also have wingtip vortices to consider. The creation of lift uh, uh, is caused by that pressure differential, or yes, it's caused by that pressure differential. So the air underneath the wing here works upward, and the above uh, airflow works downward, is deflected downward. And so that movement um, works its way along the wing, and then at the edges, um, there's nowhere else to go. So uh, the air mass tries to balance, so there's movement outward around the tips and then downward trailing behind the aircraft, creating this air spillage um, vor vortices that as they're trailing behind, they move outward, they move downward, and again, they're around each tip. So that's not fun to be caught in, so, and it's very dangerous, so we want to make sure that taking off or, and or landing uh, behind other aircraft um, that movement of the uh, vortices is disrupted near the surface, so we can gauge where we can land or take off based on when the wheels are on the ground. When they uh, come into contact with the ground and are on the ground, or when they leave the ground. So we have each of the different scenarios, well, uh, four different scenarios here. Um, and so landing behind an aircraft here, we want to land beyond the point of touchdown because the aircraft, the wheels are on the ground, uh, those vortices are um, no longer a factor. Taking uh, Aircraft taking off, land before the point of rotation. Aircraft taking off and we're taking off, take off before the point of rotation, staying above that, um, above that wake and then, and flight path. And then if we are taking off when an aircraft is landing, uh, staying above again that flight path and, hang on, sorry, <laughs> wrong one, uh, rotating and taking off after they have um, landed. So I realized that I didn't go into crosswind stuff, so I'll probably add another slide for that. Oh, shoot. And then, yes, heavy, clean, and slow aircraft create the um, uh, greatest wingtip vortices. So then, yes, the crosswind stuff I'll probably get into as well. I don't – yeah, I don't know if I did or not. And so, again, so I started working on the weight um, – thing but it is it's it's a beast in itself and i did not uh quite get to all of it and i definitely didn't get to repractice it so we'll see how this goes but i'm not sure so lift is the opposing force to gravity so in practical terms it's whatever makes the plane go up 
Right, wings, engine, rockets. However, it can be confused with lift component, which is specific to fluid dynamics. Right, and that was something that I was finding in, as I was doing this the first time, and I guess now as well, is there's, it is, like the, the different words used for the same thing, and they might not even have like a qualifier with it. It's just, I. it was, like lift was one of them, or I think, hang on, it was, let me look. It was something in here. Well, yes, like the, uh, I think it was something to do with induced drag and it was like the upward components of lift and the rearward component of lift or something, something like that where it, it, it did, it just, all, all the little details. And I do, I want to go into all that stuff. I really want to understand the things properly, but at the same time, you don't have to, you don't have to be a physicist or any of the things in order to understand enough to stay safe, be an effective pilot, and you don't want to scare the students either because yes go, going into all that stuff it it's just it's 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 not necessary it doesn't end up being necessary um again fun and good to do if you can and you have the time but there's so so many things so 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 many things that you need to know as well that getting a working knowledge of it is is the goal <laughs> so yeah so wait, I, I didn't, I didn't get to practice this. So we'll again, see how it goes. And so it's basically my lesson plan thrown onto slides. And yeah, we'll, we'll, I almost don't want to do it, but we'll, we'll, we'll try it. So now we have weight, the downward force. So it is the combined load of the aircraft, fuel, crew, and cargo. See, I, I'm, I'm kind of happy about this. Does, this, does, does that make, yeah, I, I don't know. I kind of like it. So it's the aircraft. It's our um, passengers and baggage and any other people, crew. Um, and then we have our cargo, any of that. And then we have our fuel. That is our weight. The total weight does, does not change as opposed to the other forces. Um, by maneuvering, yeah, sorry, doesn't change by maneuvering like the other forces do, but it can affect how um, that force of weight is felt. Which brings us to G-forces, which is an acceleration of gravity. <clears throat> um, let me see something here. Because, 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 because. I'm going to see if I can, because I would like my, where is it? Uh, there. Why won't you move? You need to be there. <laughs> Sorry. Hang on. Give me a moment. The, uh, no. Why? Why are you over there? I don't like it. Never mind. Sorry, I was trying to get my um my paint thing up there, but it's I don't want to mess around with it. So we'll we'll see. You wanted to know how fighter jets do fighter jet things, so this stuff is your jam. A lot of time reading and studying vapor patterns, and that's that is that's awesome. And again, like I would, I would like to be so much better at this but like working on it myself there's been so many things and so many different times where I'm looking at one thing and then it's contradicting a different thing and then somebody else is saying this somebody else is saying that and there's this thing yeah so um that's frustrating as orders as I can say because I'm a lady um but yeah so I'm I'm trying to stick to the basics as much as possible um, for my own sanity, as well as, again, not frightening students. So, yeah. <clears throat> Technically, it is mass. Ma! <laughs> the force, the force of weight. Probably change that because gravity itself. 
Oh God, is the unit of acceleration, hence why we use it. Oh God. Okay, so this is why. <laughs> this. Ugh. Wait. Hang on. I may have been a little not. Hang on. Let me let me see. I definitely probably did not mean that. Hang on. I'll have I'll have to look. I'll have to look. Yes, again, 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 again. This was this was my very first lesson plan. And uh if if you guys were around for the um weight and balance lesson plan that I did, that was also terrible. So I definitely like the weight, the weight and balance and generally weight needs to be adjusted. I'm almost like we should probably just get in the plane instead of actually <laughs> So what I was trying to say, here we go. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. We're just not gonna look at this. We're just not gonna look at this. Hang on. <laughs> Screw this thing. We're going back to paint. We're going back to the paint. <laughs> so wait. <laughs> um. So yes, I did. I said acceleration of gravity. So what I was trying to say, so in straight and level unaccelerated flight, lift equals weight, thrust equals drag. So, where did it go? Um, so, yes. So, again, lift and weight, thrust equals drag. Uh, but then for initial configuration changes, such as an increase in speed, that creates a um, difference between uh, the two, which comes about um, in the form of G-forces. You know what I mean? That's what I was getting at. And, again, here's the other thing, too. Um, this may have been something I was trying to, um, un understand myself. I may not have gotten it from anywhere, uh, legit. <laughs> so we'll see. Feel that? No, no, no. Ripping my ground briefing. Into That's a good thing. That's a good thing. Like it does. It needs to be. Um, I will have to go back through and like rework it, um, and not worry too much about it right at the moment. Um, just cause otherwise that would be, it would take forever, but no, I do, I do appreciate it because that's one of my things is I'm, it's not even just the big things that I'm worried about messing up. It's like saying one little wrong thing and the DP going, huh, tell me more about that. I'm like, oh God, no. So should reword that gravity is a form of acceleration towards mass. The value of acceleration is value of acceleration is dependent on the mass of an object right value of earth's gravity uh is the basis for the unit of g okay well dependent on mass and density this is hard you have so few characters that work. <laughs> okay well and uh, again this is what i was uh, well yes so i guess t tell me if i'm making sense and if like what words i need to and and again 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 again, again. We're, we're we're not we're not trying to go so fully into <laughs> It's it's a ba it's a basic understanding just so that that they can kind of like start under understanding things. I do I do I I I, I appreciate it. Um, but 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 too too many words <laughs> makes my brain go blah. So so that is that's one of my things is like again it's basically when the opposing forces are different that is when the G forces come into play. Huh? Huh? And that's usually in the, um, again, those initial configuration changes. So load factor is those Gs, and it is a force of stress put onto the aircraft um, due to that inequality of the opposing forces. So when lift equals weight, one G is the total load, and that is one times the weight. 3G then would be the total load, which is equal to three times the weight of the aircraft. And then I have total load opposes total lift here, which I think my instructor mentioned. 
So yes, I do want to bring that up because it, it was, I remember this was, this was a pain. This was such a pain uh, doing this one just because it was, it was the first lesson plan that I did and I, I did not take this <laughs> in school. I wish I had. Um, so not everything makes full sense. Um, but, but I, I was, I was, I was trying very hard to make it make sense to myself as well as to be able to make it make sense to, um, potential students. So I, I do, I want to make sure it's correct, but also not getting too far into uh, the things because that would like, de that would definitely be digging a hole for me to, okay. To go a step forward, acceleration is a change of direction or speed, right? The greater the rate of change, the greater the acceleration, which is then greater g-force, right? So that's that's where my that's where my thinking came came from, is that that acceleration, I guess. So the g-forces themselves aren't necessarily the acceleration, but they're created by the acceleration, right? <laughs> So anyway, um, where were we at? Hang on. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh yeah. So then total load opposed to total lift. Amazing. Perfect. Then we have different categories, um, for, uh, aircraft. Do not get that. Uh, we have different categories when it comes to, uh, load factors for aircraft. Um, do not get that confused with categories of aircraft being airplane, single engine, rotorcraft, multi-engine, that sort of thing. That's categories in and of itself. Categories for when it comes to load factors um, is normal and utility. So there are limit load factors, which is um, the, hang on, do I have that somewhere over here? Yeah, so there's a limit to the amount of stress and or load factor that you can place on the aircraft. Um, in the normal category, that is positive three in our POH, it's in your POH. For our POH, it is positive 3.8 Gs to negative 1.52 Gs. In utility um, category, which tends to be more aerobatic stuff, uh, it's positive 4.4 Gs to negative 1.76 Gs. So those are our limit load factors. Then there's ultimate limit load factors or ultimate load factors. Um, and going past the limit load factor, uh, hang on. Yes. Going past the limit load factors that can lead to damage of the aircraft. Um, going past the ultimate load factors can lead to, um, complete structural failure of the aircraft. Oh, I can probably make this a little bit bigger so that you guys can see it a little bit better. Yeah, that. <laughs> The handwriting is impeccable, I know. Um, so it also has relationship with speed. So above our VNE, never exceed speed, which is the red radial line on the airspeed indicator, that is here. So here's our... We're going to go back to here. Hang on for a second so you can see a proper... There we go. Okay. So we have our um, v VG diagram. Okay. Unit of measurement like a meter or a liter. Okay, yes, that's probably what I need to say instead. Correct, right? Multiple of the acceleration of gravity. Oh, jeez, Louise. Not ex Right, yes. And I do. That's probably, that's why, I, yeah. Gravity. <laughs> See, it's those things where my brain is like, this makes sense, but it definitely, it, it, the words go together, but they don't go together correctly. You know what I mean? God, equal to the acceleration towards Earth is Earth. right, right. <laughs> no, and that does that makes sense. And I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I don't. Work. You're gonna make me say gamer words. <laughs> but yes, I will. I will. I will definitely change that. And that that makes a lot more a lot more sense. Apologies, appreciation headed your way. And I will, I will, I will, I will get it. This is what this is for. So thank you. I appreciate it. 
So yes, so we have our VG diagram. Um, so going going above our never exceed speed, that is going to lead to structural damage. Then we have our VG diagram plus the flight envelope. Um, so we have our indicated airspeed down here, and we have our load factor along this axis. You can see my cursor correct. I always worried that you can't. So that so based on our airspeed um, and our load factor. That will show us whether we're going to stall, whether we will cause damage to the aircraft, whether we will break the aircraft. So, I mean, I can zoom in. Yeah, 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 we'll zoom in. Hang on. So, we talked about earlier our, um, uh, our limit load factor. Um, this one is a utility category. Um, aircraft because it's at 4.4 here and then above that that will cause damage to the aircraft we have our green which is our hang on hang on yeah yeah so then um i do i, ha I have to work work back through this one so vs and vso are stall speed an unaccelerated flight at 1G is right here. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. And that above that for our load factor leads to a stall. And then I don't even want to. Oh, yes, I do. God dang it. Okay. So, yes. So, that is why. Sorry. Hang on. Green. So here, green, normal operating range for our speeds. So speeds down on this edge. And then here is here. Then caution range is at these speeds. And then, um, again, VNE is at this speed. This is definitely not our 150, <laughs> but it is, um, uh, yeah, it is, uh, what's the word? A, a diagram. It is illustrative there we go so then yes then we have our stall speed down here and and above that m um, 1g will create a stall and then our stall speed uh increases so the speed at which we would actually stall increases um as we um increase that load factor and then we have oh and the wing stalls the wing can stall at any airspeed um, so as this demonstrates and then maneuvering speed or VA is here so above that going above that um, speed going above that speed and sorry being above that speed and uh, exceeding that load factor will cause uh, damage to the aircraft over here being above that speed, uh, whereas it'll result in a stall being below that speed. That's what that demonstrates. <clears throat> um, and then I have, you can, oh, oh, no, you can't see it. Hang on. There. Okay. So then, oh God, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Accelerate. Hey, 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 I knew what I meant. I just didn't understand what all <laughs> the word it, it is. It's kind of like when um the uh like the ILS versus the localizer back when I just put them all on a shelf of um approach equipment. Right. And and then I didn't um distinguish between localizer and ILS. I just kind of like my brain thought they were the same thing. That's 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 what that's what happens here is the words are in the same category. <laughs> yeah, that can accelerate acceleration if you're going to get really obnoxious. Do what we can to accelerate change. That's a whole other conversation. Fair, fair enough. Going into why VA changes in that. No, we are not. Um, that is for my revamped weight and balance thing. I know, like that was that. Oh, that actually ticked me off trying to like figure out how to explain that thing. So, um, no, we won't, we won't this time, but I might, uh, no, 
Yeah. No. I don't know. Yeah. I I have to talk to my instructor about whether I can just for this for this one, if I can just be like, so we talked about uh, thrust and drag and lift and Wade has its own lesson plan. So we're just not going to talk about that here. Um, but no, I do. I want to um, kind of correlate these two lessons. So. So, yeah, that will come into play at some point, but it is. It's 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 in its own. It's in its completely own lesson plan. So, yeah. And no, I don't want to have that conversation. Fair. Fair enough. So the components, I don't like the word components. I couldn't figure out what word I wanted to use, but different uh, things to use with that is CG is the center of gravity. It's the force of gravity and it acts vertically downward. C center of lift opposes weight and lift acts per perpendicular oh this is what it was lift acts perpendicular to the flight path through the wing but then another thing i saw that's what it was it it's this part so the center of lift it two different things was the center of lift acts perpendicular to the flight path through the wing but then there was also a thing that said the center of lift acts perpendicular to the wing so i can't remember what came from that so we're just going to ignore it for now so that's that's that for now so we have cg um and it is through all three axes so later lateral longitudinal and vertical got our cg got our center of lift acting through the wing opposing the total lift opposing total weight and the horizontal stabilizer is also a um component it actually has a negative angle of attack so so as you can see we have our uh greater camber down here lower camber down here has a negative aoa so that um there is the um, aircraft is designed. <laughs> Let me see if I. Uh... Yeah, I have to add a lot more in here because I meant to say this stuff. Uh, so the engine, the weight of the engine creates a nose down tendency so that um, it is um, easier for uh, it, it's a natural tendency. It creates a natural tendency to recover from a stall because it's um, uh, decreasing that angle of attack. So we have that horizontal stabilizer with a negative AOA to balance that nose down tendency, creating downward lift. Um, then we have stability. Stability is how the aircraft reacts to changes. That's over here. Oh my God, you can't see it. Sorry. Center of lift won't always be, no, no, uh, yes, not, not getting into all that though, where you get into the nitty gritty, uh-uh, weight and balance, but like weight shift and like, oh no, absolutely not. Yes, um, absolutely, but also no. <laughs> I feel like these are just redefining gravity and lift and aren't actually defined. Oh God, is it? Well, I will. I'll have to, I'll have to go over it again, I, again. I would, I should have just, I should have just been like, no, we're going to go fly the plane now. But you know what? We're just going to keep, keep moving. We're almost done, I think. So yes. Um, yeah. Yeah. There, the center of lift center. Yeah. That anyway. So, oh, where did, hang on. What did I say? What did I say? Yeah. It's CG is the, the, the point, the point at which. Um, the weight is like concentrated. So like if you were to uh, put the plane on your finger, it would balance. And then from the center of lift, if you were to like ha hang it from that point, it would, yeah, it would balance sort of a thing. Yeah, there is, there's a, there's a lot more that I need to go back into with this and definitely revamp and all the things, but yes. Anyway, stability is how the aircraft reacts to changes. So, uh, can you see this? 
Oops. So stability, we have um, static stability, um, which is the reaction to an initial upset from the current attitude. <laughs> um, I think that this is, <laughs> Yeah, so, so, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, so, on the weight and balance one, I drew, I, I drew, I drew a thing. So, yeah, so, for, there's, so, static is the, re, the initial reaction to an initial upset from the current attitude. So, if it is a positive, if it has positive static stability, it will um, return to its, uh, if it gets upset, from an attitude, it will return to its original attitude. Neutral static stability is it will uh, continue in that new attitude and negative static stability, it will diverge from that initial, uh, diverge from that original attitude with that upset. Then we have dynamic uh, stability, which is the reaction over time. Um, so it will, cr uh, there are oscillations which are gently changing the attitude in a cyclical fashion. Um, if they are positive, they will, so this has positive um, static um, and dynamic stability. This diagram here, you can see with my cursor. Okay. So, um, yeah, so initial upset returns, but then oscillates and gets, um, eventually returns to the original attitude. Whereas um, neutral, it will continue in a cyclical fashion, um, upward, or not upward, downward, but with that initial upset and then past the an original um, attitude and then back to that and continue in that cyclical fashion. And then divergent oscillations um, are that initial upset past the point of the original attitude and then continues to get worse and that is divergent oscillations then we have maneuverability <laughs> can't can't read anything sorry um is the aircraft's ability to easily perform the commanded maneuvers um and to withstand the resulting stresses if the aircraft is more stable that means it is less maneuverable because it requires more effort and responds slower Controllability of the aircraft um, is the aircraft's ability to remain under the control of the pilot and correctly respond to inputs. Positive stability means it is highly controllable. Negative stability um, has situational uncontrollability. Divergent oscillations can lead to rapid loss of control. And then we have the three axes of movement, which are through the CG. Uh, movement around the lateral and long latitude. I want to say lateral, but I also want to say latitudinal. <laughs> Hang on. Yeah, it's the lateral axis. See, see, this is why I can't have abbreviations because then, then I think the wrong things. Oh, well, there we go. Hang on. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hang on. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Hang on. Yes. You went and found this definition seems okay. -ish. Center of lift and gravity is the summation of the forces. Yes, that sounds perfect. And I'll have to add that. <laughs> of the object, i.e. the plane. You don't know. It's not great, but it's something. Yes, that's kind of, that's, that's, yeah, that's, yeah. What did I say? <laughs> what did I put it as? Oh, yeah. Again, again, I w okay. So I was trying to put, when I was doing this lesson plan at the time, I was trying to put as little as possible in here and then have it all up here and be able to write it down on there sort of a thing. And it doesn't, it doesn't always stay in here that well. So yes. I did. I meant to say something like that, and I did just a little bit 
a little bit after you brought that up. Um, but yeah, it's again, first lesson plan I ever did. It's leaves much to be desired. Anyway, so three axes of movement <laughs> through the CG. Um, so the aircraft, uh, maneuvers around those axes. So that's around the lateral axis and the longitudinal axis, um, creates stability in the opposite axis. So if we are, uh, think about it as the axis creates the curve. So if we, um, are pitching around the lateral axis, the longitudinal axis is what is creating these curves. So longitudinal or pitch stability um, has to do with a, a four and four or aft CG. So if it's more this way, it is a more four forward CG, four CG, um, and then a more aft CG if it is back there. So those certain characteristics, um, the, if you have a more forward CG, there are stall, cruise, stability, and its own um, tendencies with that, or hang on, properties that come with a forward CG versus an aft CG. So with a more forward CG, um, you're, it's better at recovering from stall because it has that tendency to nose down. Um, its cruise properties... Uh, or cruise performance is lowered, stability is greater, and if it's too far forward, um, you might not be able to flare on landing. More aft CG is less ability to recover from a stall, um, cruise performance is better, stability is decreased, and if it is too far aft, uh, you might not be able to recover from a stall at all. Um, and then I have a little thing about... Uh, because, uh, so for the cruise performance, the reason why with the forward CG, um, you have a lowered cruise performance is because CG is more here, more nose down, requires the yoke to be pulled, uh, back more, uh, which creates more drag, uh, to maintain level flight. And that creates more drag, lowering the cruise performance. Um, and that's. Oh, and that's all she typed. <laughs> um, apologies. Thanks for um, the help and for putting up with me. And we're going to get into the video. Oh, my God. Yeah, I, I don't know how. We'll see how long we'll be flying. Um, so the plan was, hang on, let me get this. So yes, again, 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 again. Oh, hang on. It'll make me happy. So we're going to look at little nav map for a second. Yay. Final Christmas cheer. All right. Moment's over. Um, Have all those going. Where is this? So the plan was... Um, my instructor finished up training and so he's back for a little bit. So the plan, where is my, I can't find my tracker. <laughs> Why is it not coming up? Don't it take a bit of the context? <laughs> um, well, if my tracker is not coming up, we're going to have to. All right, guess that's what we'll do. We're going to have to find a, an airport. Um, boom. That has a VOR. So, oh God. I broke it. Okay. Oh no. Oh, okay. So, that looks nasty. So, should we... What's the word? Um, risk it. Kind of like this area right here. Then we have a couple of, couple of choices. 
Lisi, fine. We're fine. We're absolutely fine. It's okay. That's what we're doing. <laughs> Kilo, Alpha, India, Zulu is where we're going to go. I have decided. Oh, and it's sunshine. It's the sunshine VOR. That's that's good. That's good after that disaster. <laughs> it was good. It did. I think it went well. The ground lesson went well until it got to the point that I had not re. <laughs> so so I'm just gonna hold on to that. <laughs> um. Oh God! And then I forgot the other thing we were gonna do. So yes. So instructor is back. So basically what we're doing now for, again, for a bit. So we're going to try and do, start doing mock check rides. And basically the first one um, is we're going to, um, he basically, homework is I need to come up with what I think the um, check ride is going to be. And then um, I'll, we'll go through it. And then he'll throw stuff out at me. So we'll see. Examiner must select at least two takeoff and two landing tasks. So I'm trying to I'm trying to think. Oh, 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 you can see. Hang on. You can see that, but I can't see that. Strange. Okay. Cool. Make sure the things are working. Um, so, uh, I assume it's probably going to be, like, normal, normal takeoff and land. Oh, and that's the other thing. So, I might be having a different examiner than I was thinking I was going to have. Um, and, yes, I think both of them are not, they, they don't throw curveballs. So, I'm thinking, for now, you know what? We're just going to, so two takeoff and two landing tasks. We're going to do normal and short field for this evening. Um, uh, so, ignoring the others. Normal and takeoff. Or, sorry, normal and short. That's part of the landing. So, irrelevant, irrelevant, irrelevant. Irrelevant, irrelevant, irrelevant. Uh, must select at least one task. Let's do straight and level flight for today. <laughs> that sounds good to me. Um, performance maneuvers. I've heard that lazy eights. Um, the person I talked to, yes, yeah, so lazy eights. That's what we'll do. Must select task D and one other task. Task D is what? Oh, of course. Aids on pylons. Yes. So we'll do aids on pylons. And probably turns around a point. Unless the pattern counts. We'll do turns around a point. So turns around a points, point and aids on pylons. Um, examiner must select at least one proficiency stall, so B or C, and at least one demonstration stall, as well as task G. So, like, why is maneuvering, to your, like, where does task A come into that at all? <laughs> I mean, apart from the power off stall, I guess. One proficiency stall, so we're going to do power off um, one proficiency stall I th think person I talked to I think they said secondary stall is what they had to do so we'll do that one and then instrument maneuvers <laughs> let's also go with straight and level flight for this <laughs> or you know what we'll do we'll do We'll do turns for um, visual and the, no, because oh, shoot, never mind. Ignoring that. And then we'll do straight and level flight for instrument. Because it's just that one task, right? Yeah.
Must select at least tasks A and B. Oh. We're probably going to ignore. We'll ignore that one for now just because, again, we don't have a lot of time. If, if, if we have time. If we have time, we'll go through the um, emergency approach and landing and the systems and equipment malfunction. And then we'll just deal with the rest as we go. So, again, I, I should probably have this on my uh, thing so that I remember. So we're doing normal takeoff and landing, short field takeoff and landing. Um, turns. Turns and then straight and level flight. Um, for instrument and lazy eights turns around a point eights on pylons and then emergency maneuvers if we get to them disengage brain just do a hammerhead turn <laughs> on check ride I mean, if I if I if I already fail, might as well. Another one of you do no. no, honestly, don't. Not this one. Hello, how's it going? How are things? Tell me. Not this. Oh God, it was. Ground lesson went so well until it didn't. It was. It is. I, I will say. Weight is not my strong point. Apparently. I did not get I did not get to re again. I didn't get to revamp the thing. Um but it was. It was it was it was it was it was bad. It needed it needed linguistic adjustments as well as just general consistency. Oh god, it was. It was terrible. So, um yeah. And now we'll go and see how this goes. Oh god. Um, I will. I need to... No, that's not what I wanted. I mean, I'd like to go back to that again. <laughs> so bad. Uh, I am. I'm gonna be... I, I, I'm kind of... I'm kind of, like, dissociating myself from it for the moment. But I'm gonna be cringing so freaking hard as soon as the stream is done. <laughs> and for tomorrow, and the next day, and the next day. Oh, God. Most stressful check ride you've ever done because you had to do MEI and CFWI in one go. Okay, so it was at the same time, or did you have to do multi-engine instructor and double I? Like, was it schmooshed into one? Oh, same day. One flight, one oral, but contains both. Good lord. So, uh, I... I, I elaborate <laughs> been taking a break good you deserve it i hope i do i hope that you've been relaxing some and celebrating all of your hard work yes unintentional pun weight is not your strong point a hey. <laughs> yes uh, oh god it uh, yeah it just yeah it was that was i do when i first started this i think that was one of the reasons why I started getting so um, like nervous about this stuff and being like, oh, I can't, I can't do this is because trying to go through the weight and understanding the things and then being able to like understanding the things like properly with all the, again, linguistic things that I apparently don't understand properly. Um, what am I doing? Ah, this thing. Sorry. Yeah, it was just, it It wasn't pro properly in my wheelhouse. Um, and then it was, it just, it seems like, it seemed like there was like so many conflicting things. And then again, certain definitions and using incorrect words that I guess we can say law of primacy. I didn't understand correctly in the first place. So now I'm using them incorrectly. And it just, it was, it was a freaking nightmare doing that first. Um, it did. It went, I, I do remember the first three, when I was doing the lesson plan, it went fairly okay. I got into a rhythm, got the thrust, got the drag, 
got the lift, and then wait. Hit me like a truck. Haha, -ha, is that another wait wait pun? It was somewhat intentional. Um can I hear oh sorry, hang on. I have to make sure I turned the things on. Arf, 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 arf. Ah. Yeah, I can hear stuff. Good. Good. Now I can turn this off. Okay. Ugh. And then and then and then yes, the um doing that one, it did. It it it's it, it snuck up on me because I thought I was like. I'll be able to get the weight portion done just like I got the other three done. No, no, no. That one was a mm, word. I can't say because I'm a lady. And then, and then there's a whole lesson plan and lesson task, whatever, in and of itself that is just weight and balance. And that, it, it was also a pain in places. Pretty, beautiful, gorgeous. Sunlight. So that that is that definitely is something. That's a primary thing that I need to very very much work on. So yes, and same time, but continue <laughs> both. Oh, but continue. <laughs> what? Never mind. I'm sorry. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna leave that lie. The hu the humor is there already. I won't uh, push it. Okay, so oral was stressful, never been stumped, but did, but you got through it. Can I, can I ask what, what part? I might not understand it yet with the um, multi-engine and apparently, or not apparently, but potentially uh, not doing instrument stuff in a while. Flight, you took off, shot a partial panel RNAV while teaching, and it contained the hold. Okay, landed, took off, went, and did steep turns. Okay, power off, stall, VMC demo, and engine shut off. Okay, next up. You went and shot an engine out ILS while teaching. Oh, gosh. Also had to teach short field takeoff and landing. Oh, goodness. <sighs> it was one of those check rides where you know you passed, but it still feels like you either failed or are about to, or are about to take it. Okay. Oh, God. Then you have a 12-hour drive home. Same day after check ride. Well, I mean, at that point, though. I, I hope it was like, at least, you know what? At least he got that done out of the way. But geez, oh God, I'm, ugh. Okay, good on you. That is, like, I hope I do. I hope you're super proud of yourself. We're all super proud of you. Because that, that is, that's, that's intense. And you got through it, you did the thing, and now you're on the other side of it. So happy for you. Hello, hello, how is it going? How is it going? Rip, right. <laughs> Check, oh my god. Check ride was worse 10 times more than the drive. I bet. Absolutely. Good lord. Asked instrument what you would do if you had, oh, he asked instrument what you would do if you had a static port blockage before takeoff. Not fly? What? What, what would you see? Oh, what would you do? How would it end? Oh gosh. Okay. Um, Before takeoff, so like, ooh, okay, because static port blockage, you have your um, L, your airspeed indicator, al altimeter, vertical speed indicator, vertical speed, You wouldn't notice until you. S um. Well, basically, would just nothing be moving as you're taxiing, because you know, like some some like it wiggles it wiggles a little bit the things during the taxi. Go ahead and answer that, and you'll say right or wrong. Um. 
So, and again, is it like before takeoff is it like, again, during taxi or like as, as you're taking off sort of a thing? Yes, definitely abort the takeoff. If I know I have a static blockage, I'm just going to not go. You knew the errors by heart, but it's one thing you just didn't think of. And it was honestly, please, thank you. And you said it four times and he said, I'm going to give you one more chance to figure it out. Oh, God. I'm going to just fail you. No. No, it's before takeoff. So you won't know until you take off. Y you look. You look in the static port. I don't know. You look at it. Straight IMC. 100 foot overcast. Can't be visual of runway. You will not know until you take off. Or change until you take off. So, okay. So it is. So the question is, once you're taking off, well, your vertical speed indicator won't show anything. And so hopefully just land on the remaining runway. <laughs> and your altimeter won't, won't change either. So yeah, just like as soon as you start going and if nothing is changing, you drop it like it's words. Maybe. I don't know. Yes, please. It's bothering me. Okay, so we're in the we're in the plane. We take a picture of the hubs and the tack. We uh check our things. We don't need that. Beacon. Gosh darn it. Taxi landing. Oh, I have to turn this on first. And then all the things come on. And then the that goes on. Then we go this way. Boop and boop and the beacon's going and that's good and that's good and oh goodness, hang on. I forgot to take the remove before thing. Wait, actually leaving those open, control the space, and down and over. Boom. Uh, oops. Checked the things. Grasp the pitot tube. Feel that heat turns off. Uh, fuel is uh, rather low, so we will fill up before we go. Ha ha ha, it rhymed. And then we drain a little bit of fuel from each wing, making sure that we are checking for bubbles or indication of water, which is basically a bubble looking thing at the bottom of the tube. Make sure it is blue, smells good, no sediments. Um, and then we check the quantity visually, um, at which point I guess we just do that now, but otherwise I will forget. Since we're in here, we'll check our oil. Oh, and then we strain, strain some fuel from the bottom as well and from in there. Um, and that should be good. Uh, yeah, we put in a half a quart, so that should be good. Okay. I just hope this one isn't one that <laughs> requires more. <laughs> more than five. Um, uh, yeah, we did that, and now we go back out again. So we check the things that um, are most likely to kill us, and now we check the static port, check our vents, our pitot tube drain hole, fuel vent, uh, tire, um, edge of the prop or edge of the wing, um, aileron, all those, wiggle the rod, um, flap, all of those, wiggle the rod, check the antennas elevator check those connections rudder just a teensy weensy bit not that much um, and then lift up on it as well that side of the elevator check the trim tab all the other antennas and then the other side you can do chicken <clears throat> uh wait hang on hang on you said you're gonna give the answer and then you said next did I miss something? Hmm. 
Next, you ask ATC to go back to the airport or be sent to a via. Oh, 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 okay. I think, I think, I think you might have missed the first part because there's a next and a nothing before that. So I will wait to. You guys, I didn't say, I don't know. <sighs> Shoot. It's like the one piece of the puzzle that's absolutely necessary. Um, so whatever you do beforehand. Not getting the big message. I did not get the big message. I'll see if it's on any of the other ones, but no. <laughs> did you did you happen to copy and paste it at all? <laughs> so that you don't have to retype. No, it goes straight from, you're going to give me the answer to, next you ask ATC to go back. Oh, no. I will, I will wait to read those. Um, and, until, you're trying, okay, no, don't, don't worry about it. I, oh, that's, oh, I'm so sorry. But I do, I appreciate, I appreciate you, um, putting the, putting the work in, because that is, I'm, I'm very curious. Now, no, it didn't send again. Unless you're doing it now. Might break it up into parts. Okay, so yes, that that might that might work. How many characters is it? Okay, part one. Step one, notice the error. Yes, VSI zero, altimeter zero. You're now in IMC, zero visibility. What are you going to do? Oh, you're forgetting alternate error. Oh, God. Yes, always check it in pre-flight. But never think to use it. Right. Right, okay. Part two, next you, well, why can't you land on the remaining runway? Right okay, next you declare an emergency. Keep climbing, watching airspeed because, you know, if you start to slow down, it means you're climbing drastically and you want, ooh, and you want altitude ASAP. Right. Also want to follow your course that you had set because you knew that was the safest route. Makes sense. So, yes, just basically aviate. Next Next, ask ATC to go back to airport or be sent to a VFR airport, but you need to be told your altitude or uh, go back. But yeah, he said after you pass it, you can fly the plane really, really well. But the knowledge portion, you know most of it at the rote level and need to work on scenario-based questions. Okay. Can't turn around because it's 100 feet. Right. Can't turn around. You tried that. He didn't want that. Well, okay. Um... So I remember during my instrument training, but no, but again, so not the turnaround thing, but if you start climbing and you notice that your altimeter and VSI, like immediately upon trying to climb, aren't going anywhere, just land the sucker on remaining runway. But again, I guess larger, faster plane probably eats up more runway than what I am used to at this moment, potentially, maybe. Yes. And then, yes. So I do remember that came up during my instrument training and it was, it was like the sort of, if you take off zero, zero um, and you lose something and you want to go back to the airport, sort of the, can you do an approach back into the airport? Like go out procedure, turn back in for a landing. Um, but I can't remember what it was. So Oh, yes. Next, you ask ATC to go back to airport or be sent to a VFR airport. Okay. Yeah, interesting. Technically, at 91.3 states, you could, but he didn't think it's the safest one. Well, uh, um, so uh, I guess I can, I, I can probably see that if you, well, hmm. Right. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Right. I kind of completely forgot that you don't have altitude. So yes, you need to be told your altitude. Okay. Hang on. Now I have to. <laughs> okay. Right. 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 Okay. Need to be told your altitude. Um, and then. So. So yeah, if you could be. 
<sighs> okay. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. Okay, fair. Yeah, definitely, definitely the VFR thing. And then he has the alternate air. Oh, God, I totally did, too. Such a brain fart. So while he left the room, gave you time, you were looking at a board of your plane, going through your instruments, and remembered alternate air. Oh, gosh. So your only altitude right is either ATC or using your airspeed to determine your um, altitude climb rate. Guesstimating. Right. I did. I To be honest, I completely forgot the premise of the question that you didn't have your static um, stuff anymore. So uh, apologies for that. Um. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But you got through it. You did. You got through it. And it was. It was one of those things. Oh, I'm trying to think. Yeah. One of those things where it was a little stumper and you got through it. They always got to find one of those. And then you, you made it through. <laughs> it's a lot. But yeah, after that, you were stressed. You, right. I, I am. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm sure oh but you've always been over prepared and it was the first time you've ever been stumped they gotta get you at least once they gotta get you at least once and there it was and you'll be prepared for that same question next time <laughs> oh i will i'll have to it will it'll be interesting getting back into the instrument stuff because i i did i completely forgot all about that stuff too every other check ride from private you were never stumped really must be nice <laughs> I do. There was always there was always one thing. There was always one thing that the DPE found and was like, hmm. And it took me a bit. And then eventually it was like, okay, worked through it. And yeah. So, all right. That's that is that's nice, though. And uh, if that is if that is the only thing that has stumped you over the past, like that does demonstrate your level of the work that you put in, the knowledge that you have overall and not just on like the one rating or certificate so that is that's awesome oh shoot we have to we have to stay outside sorry um so we checked our oil and we did all that so uh edges of the propeller check those alternator belts if you have one exhaust uh port nose wheel clearance and then take a nice look see to see if it's all good and air intake as well is there an air intake on this? Yes, there it is. Okay. I just never actually look. Got it. Okay. Good. 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 All right. We're going to go do the thing. <clears throat> so, um, 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 circuit breakers, uh, fuel is on trim for takeoff circuit. Oops. That's not what I wanted. Circuit breakers, but la 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 la, but also actually looking because they will actually come at me. Um, but a little, 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 uh, so, uh, no talking during takeoff and landing seatbelts on at all times, exit out the floor, out the floors. Yes. Exit out the floor, out the doors to your left and right for now. Make sure they're shut and locked seat track back and lock back and lock chicken. Oh, if we lose power on the rollout, we'll stop on the runway, uh, after takeoff and below a thousand feet, we'll land straight ahead. If it's above a thousand feet, we'll consider turning around, landing back on the runway or just straight ahead. Um, yeah, seat track back and lock, back and lock, chicken. Um, autopilot is a avionics are off. Autopilot's irrelevant. Carb heat is off. Beacon goes on. Prime it. Um, brakes. Uh, mixture's full. Throttle is slight. Clear left. Clear right. Clear ahead. Why did it look like it was moving? Head. Clear back. Oop. Clear prop. And then we do the thing. And a pew and a pew 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 pew. Whooshed. When you said you were over prepared, you were you were over prepared. You never wanted that feeling because it's the worst. Right, but lessons learned, more scenario based questions. So did you use the um, oral guides at all? Because I know those have pretty good scenario based questions. I don't know if for every certificate slash rating, but, um, yeah. And I don't know if like, do they have the specific ones for multi-engine instructor? And I assume they would for double I, but 
Yeah, okay. You gotta crash. <laughs> you gotta crash. We probably will too at this point. But yes, um, sounds good. Good to see you. Have a good night. Uh, uh, a great night. Have a good rest of your week. It is Thursday, I guess. So have a great weekend. And um, hope to see you again soon. It is. It is the new year. I've already forgotten that it is not 2023. And I've already done that thing where it's like, oh, it's 2023. And it's actually not. So anyway, yes. So yes, sleep well. Hope to see you again soon. All the good things. Thanks for being here and helping out again, by the way. Um, and yes. Uh, oh, yeah, you can send all your CFII and any nice slides. Sounds good. And you can also send the backseat pilots for both of those. Sounds good. Yes, definitely do. It'll be a bit. It'll be a bit. Um, but I I will. I will. Spinning. You spin my head right. Anyway. Yes. Yes. That sounds good. Tell me more about this weight I keep talking about. I don't want to know. We're not talking about the weight. We're not talking about the weighty war. The oral guides. Never heard of them. Um, 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 the, uh, oh, shoot. Um, oh, can I set the parking brake? Um, it's in my, it's the, it's the ASI. Um, yeah, it's the ASI oral guides. Um, I think it's ASA. Yeah. So it's, it looks like. So far, I'm only seeing like the the specific ones. There is so it's like so private, yes. Al ASA oral ASA oral exam guide, and that'll come up with. I'm sorry, all of the different colors and stuff. Um, I see private. Hello, hello. Let me look. Let me look. Mustafa, thank you for the raid. How is it going? How are you? Happy New Year. How are the things? And then the moose heart. Good to see you. Thank you for the raid. How was your stream? What were you doing? And how did it go? And welcome, everyone. It's really good to see you. So yes, a if you just Google ASA um, oral exam guide, those will pop up. And if they are not familiar to you, then um, then 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 yes. I had them for private and instrument and commercial, and I went through them a bit. Um, but I was also told that those are a bit more, a, almost too in depth. But the commercial one was like pretty okay. Haven't gotten to the multi engine one because um, haven't done multi engine training. But my instructor did say that the instructor guide is really, really good for those scenario based questions specifically. So, uh, but yeah. Um, just realized it. Joe, we're gonna work. Enjoy it. And so, yes, uh, right. Yes, I know. That's why I think like the first time that you came that you came into the stream, I just like kind of went a little bit nuts because I was like, oh my god, I love your name. So yes, that. Right now, I would say that is my favorite movie. Is the first John Wick, and the second one wasn't too bad. I did eventually rewatch the third one and then the fourth one, and all of them. They are. They're all pretty solid all the way through. But the first one is, yes, is my jam. So, yeah. <laughs> yes, happy new year, Moose Raid. Flying the mega death. That sounds frightening. MGLF. <laughs> We're okay, considering. Oh, the airplane is still in alpha. Okay, so you're figuring some stuff out. Hello, hello, hello. I do. I need to come up with, like, a voice for him. He needs. He needs a proper voice. But yes, he says hello. Are we there yet? Uh, we're not. We haven't started. We're getting there. <laughs> Would have loved ATC signing off on me the way they all signed off on me on Batsim. I did forget about that. I usually, you know, wait long enough so that they uh, do leave because I'm always so nervous. Third movie is the worst. Fair. I can I can see that because I do. I think it was like number one is <laughs> the best. And then the second one is like a meh. And then, yeah, the third one was kind of like meh. And then the fourth one was like meh. <laughs> because I'm really good at describing things. 
with nothing but words. Or with, without words. Nothing but noises. That's from 1, 2, 4, 3. Yes, I, I would agree. I will have to watch the third and fourth one again. In that order, maybe switch. <gasps> maybe switch one and two. Really? <gasps> okay. All right. Uh, so for me, for me, the number two, which movie? Uh, the John Wick series. John Wick series. Sorry. Yes. Um, for me. Oh, sorry. You know what? I'll get to. I'll get to taxiing, and then I'll start babbling about stuff. I, I'm sorry. It. I should watch that again. So good. So the first one was just like legit, right? It was. It was its own thing. It was stunt people wanting to make a stunt heavy movie, and it was that was their thing. So they were really good at it. And it was. It was about the story. It was about the stunts. That was it. The second one, it did with the addition of I don't want to say it seemed like the cameos or like certain certain actors playing the certain characters it was more of like cameo fodder rather than um rather than just being for the story um but I did I did I did in, enjoy it other than that three is just way too much BS yes fair enough Bruh, in the way he's about it, or even doing that. Uh, again, I, w I will. I'll have to watch it again, but I can definitely see that. Four was all right. Some of the scenes, like the dragon's breath shotgun was pretty sick. <laughs> fair, fair enough. Just made the connection. Yes. No, it's okay. We're, uh, I mean, if you were watching my ground lesson, <laughs> we're all a little slow, or at least I'm, I'm a little slow as well so you're in good company okay kilo alpha india zulu i guess i can throw that in there as well uh happy hello yes happy new year back to the movie already in progress yes <laughs> like morpheus i did I, I i i liked him but also it did it had it yes it did have that little yeah little bit of it nothing as bad as that john wick three <laughs> Again, it was it 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 could have been good and it was okay, but there were there were there were just some instances that just made me kind of go meh. So yeah, and we didn't finish reading it. Sorry, but no, like it. If you know me, I am. I, 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 I've always liked movies. I've always loved movies, entertainment stuff. Always been my jam. Got very disenchanted with it, so I haven't. I just don't. I don't watch movies anymore. But that series, that one, that one was pretty solid. So the most recent, probably like the most recent thing that I've been, I've been good with. It got me back a little bit to that sort of a thing. So, anyway, sorry. Uh, the fifth at 0556 Zulu. Not going to do the math. It's probably most recent, but... Uh, automated. Uh, 100 degrees at 4 knots, 10 touch miles. Clear of clouds, 3023. Remarks, they have two different shades of precipitation. Sea level pressure... Hang on. Isn't that just the... Um, Okay, hang on, now I have to check. <laughs> yeah, so sea level pressure, it doesn't have that information, but it's just the pressure in millibars, it should be. Um, the This one that starts with a five is something to do with the change in... How the pressure is changing, I think. Can't remember. Um, and freezing rain, it does not have that information. And the money means that it is, uh, has issues mechanically. So, awesome. Let's go 100 degrees and 3023. Three. Where are we? Weather. Elevation is 869er. Okay. Two, three, it said, right? Wrong way. Mm 
does that jive? Eight, six, niner, two, four, six. Yes, that seems about correct. Um, and our runways are four and two, two. So runway four is our best bet. So we will take off and just go straight out. Perfect. Um, and then we do want to get our VOR tuned in because I don't have 108.4. I don't have the 108.4. My uh, airplane tracker that goes with four flight is not freaking working. So that's fun. Let me try it one more time. Oh, I can't. Oh no, why is it gone? Oh, there, oh, I just have too many things open apparently. So we're gonna get, uh, no, we'll leave that just in case, I guess, oh, why not? Oh, I did not want to click that, shoot. How do I go? Oh, no, 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 stop it. Oh, that's entirely not what I wanted. Well, oh, there we go. Yes, star flight tracking. Star flight tracking. We got time. Check my drive and then shared me. Sounds good. The CFI. I think you I think you shared me the CFI one. Um, but yes, the double I and the MEI. I'm looking forward to it. Thank you. I do appreciate it. Cause cause, cause yeah, it is. Having all this all sorts of different um avenues and sources of information really does help sometimes it gets a little bit much but I, I would I would rather have more I would rather have more than less so think I have an impersonator trying to be like me oh god what <laughs> I'm <laughs> why is the first question <laughs> but okay uh, imitation is the sincerest form of flattery just received your 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 multi-engine instrument and commercial just came yes yes that's not wait oh i guess it has been a bit so yay congratulations it's official official now that's awesome uh yes that 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 is that's got to be a good feeling um apparently there's a twitch streamer by the name of mr horologist streaming um but i think that's an actual thing though uh hor horology we're gonna let that go uh okay so doing the thing we are okay so for anyone for anyone who who, who has not been been who is new to the stream um i am a pilot in real life i am currently working on my instructor certificate un frighteningly um so we did a practice ground lesson before this which again went three quarters of the way well and then was a just a disaster for the last bit so now what we're going to do is we are going to um do very mock-ish check rides so what i'm working on right now is my instructor's back from his training which i'll chat about once we're probably done with this um so he's back so now we're going to just work on mock we were working on the specific um like all the things like performance maneuvers in one chunk um ground reference maneuvers in one chunk take up chunk takeoffs and landings in another chunk and now my homework basically is create a check ride that you think it might be and we'll practice that and he'll throw stuff at me so that's what we're about to go do we have picked the things that we think that we are going to have to do on check ride and we're going to go do those so we will learn nothing from me lebowski nothing yes <laughs> disclaimer below <laughs> learning you're not this isn't this is not this is not actual instruction it is practicing my instruction flows and it's it it doesn't always go very well so it, it does a little bit, but I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure it is not to do with that. So um, I just forget what it is. Fun stuff. It is. It is fun, but also I, yeah, it yeah it yeah. I tr I try and then and then I and then I fail. So that is why. That is why. Oh God, hang on. I was gonna start going, but then. Oh shoot! And I didn't pin the thing. Gosh darn it. Uh, hang on. 
I will re-put it in there. If anyone is interested in uh, flying along with my, oops. Or I should say attempting to fly along because, oh God, it's probably not gonna go well. No, it should be pretty fine. We are, we're trying to do very basic things. I have gotten some rundowns. My um, instructor had one of the DPEs, the original DP that I was going to go to, but now it seems like there's one closer to me that I will potentially be able to go to um, and kind of got the lowdown from somebody who just took their CFI check ride. And they seem, again, like they don't, they go kind of straight and narrow, don't throw too many curveballs. So we're just, and especially since it's this freaking late, I apologize because that ground lesson was, yes. Anyway, um, we are going to uh, just stick to the basics today. Uh, yes. And then beyond, did I, oops. Yes, I brought my flaps up. Um, I was going to say beyond something, but I don't remember. So we'll just probably let it, let it lie. <laughs> let it lie there awkwardly. All right. So we're checking our stuff. <laughs> if, okay. So I'm going back to your static pressure thing. Like what if you did a practice wheelie down the runway? Would that give enough of a change? <laughs> that you could check your static <laughs> like like if that was if that was like a potential issue if you wanted to make sure noom 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 it is not it is not actual instruction do not listen to john wick <laughs> oh gosh no none of this is like i I would, I would, I would be, what's the word, mortified if like my, and any of my instructors or actual, avi like in real life aviation people were to find this and be like, really, this is where you're at? We've been working on this. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, this is the time to try. Right. It is. This has, do, doing this with with all of you on stream it does make things easier it's definitely helped me be able to just kind of do the things and like make the connections uh, like in what's the word sorry i'm 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 wiggling back and forth but i i this is why we only talk about taxi things while we're taxiing um but it's the sim so we don't do all the things properly here. That's the other reason. That's the other reason why it's also do not take this as instruction because we do not do things properly all the time. So just to keep things in perspective. But yeah, no, it has. It's got, it's been, it's made it a lot easier to uh, talk about the things and think about the things in a different way. So, yeah. <clears throat> Hi. Hello, how are you? How is it going? Need to work on that center line. I know, I know, I know. I'm uh, uh I will I will say I am I I still don't think I'm used to the right seat. So it's like I feel like I'm where I need to be, but I'm I'm not. So that's I do. I need to start flying. I need to start flying more. So just heard me telling me no. Stop taking it out of context. Yes, darn it. Be very worried. You watch me from Brazil. Hello. I'm happy to have you. Uh, I apologize for all the things. <laughs> Thank you for putting up with me. Welcome, welcome. How How's it going? I hope well. Non-essential conversation. Yeah, that. Exactly. Sterile cockpit. Just wait. One of my real instructors is going to be waiting at the... Oh, my God. Pull out their... Oh, God. No. <laughs> that... Uh, I... Uh. I have, I have kept, I have kept it close to the chest because so my instructor right now, he actually does sim once in a while with his buddy who is, uh, who was his first student. So his, that guy has like full kind of sim pit sort of a thing. He does it a lot more. And then his instructor or my instructor like sims with him just a little bit. And they have, they have tried to get my, um, 
uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator username so that we can fly together. And I'm just like, see, but that's connected to this, and I can't, I can't have that. So <laughs> I, I'm always worried. There are ways that he could, that he could find it, but I, I oh god, I hope not. <laughs> also, the taxi you forgot to do an instrument check. So that okay, so that's why I was like wiggling, um, because I was. I was like, I'm doing the instrument check while not actually doing the instrument check. It's kind of like how when you put the um, the the weather on and then you just kind of keep listening to it, keep listening to it because you just start doing other things and then you kind of forget about that part of it. Yeah, that. So I was just like, yes, I am doing my instrument check. I haven't actually checked the instrument, so I'm just going to keep doing the instrument check. Oh, God. Yeah. Oh, God. Oops. Brakes are a good thing. But no, I mean, I wanted to turn this way because it is more into the wind for our run up. So, <laughs> um, <clears throat> forgot to do an instrument check. So you did it at the turn onto the runway. Like you said, you were stressed. You think you're using uh, a lot of it makes it not wait. Hang on. Like you said, you're stressed. You think you using a lot of makes it not like it. I'm not fully following, but it's also, again, <laughs> late, and uh, my brain was struggling earlier, so sorry. That's what you said, but I think I won't ever be found out. I, I feel, I feel, I do. I feel like my instructor could, and maybe at some point will, but I'm trying to hold off for as long as possible. If I can pass CFI with only three... With only three flights, I got this. Oh God, like three check ride flights. All right, sounds good. Uh, why are we so far from holding short line? Because because I was leaving room for anyone else, and then I decided to take up the whole of the taxiway. It'll be at the exact moment he realizes I'm a better pilot in real life than in sim. I am. I am a better pilot in real life than in the sim. I promise. I promise. You sending messages with a lot of oh the oh okay is triggering something. Here. Oh okay, sounds good. Interesting. Weird. I wonder why. For breaks, you would put like five periods. Oh okay, George doesn't like it. Ooh, I wonder if it's just like it's something where it um, it I don't know. It codes it into something else. No three. <laughs> three flight flukleites. Fourth flight was a mock check ride flight where we had to do good on every maneuver. Um, no, I will be flying a lot more um, than 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 that. I plan to anyway. So yes, it's I do. I <laughs> we'll get there. We'll get there. Okay, so run up. Um, fuel is on. Trim for takeoff. Flight controls. Uh, we make a square. So where our thumb is pointing is the. Uh, surface that is up so that is up then we bring it back and like so our elevator is back and, or is up and then our other aileron is up and then we complete the square perfect flight controls are good we could also put our um, lights on we're just not going to talk about it and then we um oh sorry um instruments checked and instruments are good. Perimeter is good. Primer is in and locked. Um, mixture is. We'll put it in a little bit more. And then we. Then we. Carb heat goes out. Watch that drop. Back. Watch that drop. Back. Second mag. Watch that drop. And back. Um. Ammeter is good. Vacuum gauge is good. Our uh, oil pressure temperature is good. Then we whoosh, idle check. Whoosh. So you had a total of three. F okay, was this for s this for CFI or was this for the other ones? <laughs> I, ha, how? I would also like to say you should also be very proud of yourself for only doing that many flights as well. So no, three flight flights. Fourth flight was a mock check ride flight where you have to do good on every minute. So you had a total of three flights and then one mock flight and then check. Oh my, I, I could never, I could absolutely never. Daytime, so you don't need lights, just the beacon, correct? <sighs> Technically, no, but it is also, um, 
it's still recommended. So, and then, uh, okay, so anti-collision lights is also for aircraft during the day is also only for aircraft certificated after 1996. Um, yeah. So yeah, and, and, and position. Wait, what? CFI equals three, five, one, one. I, and then double I and M E I. You had fifteen hours. I can't. I can't. I can't even. I can't imagine going back, looking back at my. I couldn't. Did you? Oh, did you do commercial from the right seat though? But still, like even even if you did, that just that just that that's that's definitely not enough flights for uh, moi. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. We are just uh, departing straight out. Uh, Lacey Fine traffic. Cessna Hotel Tree One Delta One departing zero four straight out. Lacey Fine. We look both ways before crossing the street. Uh, okay. Well, we just go like that. There we go. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay. <sighs> All right. So we're doing a normal takeoff. Oh, God. And I'm supposed to be like, oh, frick. Okay. So um, green, green, carb in, carb in, mixture full, flaps up, trim for takeoff, fuels on. Okay. So we are, oh, my God. I forgot I have to actually, like, say things. We looked on final, making sure that nobody's coming from either direction, and then we are going to line up on our center line. Not like so. We put the center line, in the shaft of our yoke, and then we uh, <clears throat> put our throttle in nice and smooth, watching our uh, instruments keeping on that center line with our rudder. Why do you do this? Uh, once we reach 60 miles per hour, that is our rotate. We climb at VY, which is 80. We maintain that heading. So we can we can climb at VY, but if we want to have more um, scanning, more opportunity to scan for traffic. Uh, we can nose down a little bit just below the horizon. We can pick a point out on the horizon to aim for so that, oh, I actually, I do see one. Uh, yeah, we're gonna aim for that bit out there so that we maintain our runway heading. So you just feel like all these things that I'm saying, I'm just gonna, words I can't say because I'm a lady, uh, up if I actually say that. Um, so we were at 869. We're gonna check our things. We're gonna do our uh, climb checklist. So 869 at 500 feet uh, and we can, yeah, we're, we're turning, we're turning straight out. S or not turning, <laughs> we're turning straight because that's what normal people do. Oh, I'm so sorry. Um, this is why oh freaking anyway moving on we're straight we're narrow we're climbing we're gonna climb up uh to a, at least 1500 so we did our a green green mixture flaps uh carb heat we didn't do too horribly <laughs> at maintaining runway heading. Oh my God. I promise I fly better than an actual plane. Um, yes, so we're gonna climb up at least 1500 feet. So that's uh, 1300, 2500. Yeah, that should be good. You know what? We'll go 3500, we'll go 3500. Oh, okay, sorry, 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 sorry. 
Multi-engine was only eight hours of flight time to learn a new plane. And all the maneuvers... See, that just doesn't seem like a lot. <laughs> no, commercial was left seat. See, again, I... Again, I could never. So, kudos. It's happening! Stay calm, it's happening! Yes. Don't panic! Don't panic. Oh, I started listening to the... Uh, sorry, uh, slight off topic but also segue um or slight off topic but also relevant that's what i mean i started listening to the original radio series of hitchhiker's guide to the galaxy <laughs> it's so good i'm looking forward to reading the books anyway moving on no it takes a while but it's so worth it uh 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 yeah but I need to adjust rudder sensitivity. I know. I've tried, and I just don't. I, I don't. You want to see the ideological setup? It, uh, it's, <laughs> it's not bad, but yeah. Just say what I'm doing. That's teaching. Ugh. Okay, 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 okay. I will, I will try to do that more. You're rotating at this, going to do this, then you're doing this checklist because of this, turning this heading. Okay, okay. I, yes, okay. I will do what I'm actually doing, not what I... Yes. Not things that you could do, sort of a thing. Because then it's like, why aren't you doing it? Well, because I can't. <laughs> I'm too nervous. Hello, how are you? How is it going? I hope you're well. Happy New Year. Um, okay. Frick. Ugh. Again. I did not prep for this. We'll, we'll, just, we'll just go with that. Um, I will, I will turn off these things as well, just so that we're just doing the thing. Okay, so we're going to get back down to our 3,500. 3, what things do we have to do? Um, so, first, we will do our clearing turns, and during that clearing turn, we'll talk about turns, I guess. So, we will start on, uh... I don't like this area at all. This was, oh, this was terrible. Why did I choose this area? Oh, no. Okay, no, this is fine. We're going to be fine. It's going to be fine. Okay, so 3,500 is our altitude. Okay, so we're starting on a magnetic heading, and we want to do our clearing turns. We clear, do our clearing turns before maneuvering to check for any traffic in the area. Um, and then maintain that scan uh, while we are maneuvering. So, turning, we put a little bit of, uh, oops, uh, rudder in in the direction of our turn. Roll the ailerons, maintain our pitch, scanning outside for traffic. And then roll out, oh god, yep, on our heading. That was our first 90 degree turn. Then we do, again, a little bit of right rudder to start that turn. Scanning out our win uh, left window. Maintaining our altitude with our pitch. And, oops. Correcting as needed. Rolling out on our original heading. Oh, God. <sighs> good. Excellent. I am glad. Uh, we're, 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 we're good. <laughs> it's questionable, but we're working through it. Uh, you just got back from skiing. How was it? I'm glad that you got to go skiing. Does the clearing turns have to be 90 degrees? They do not have to be 90 degrees. It can be um, one 180 degree turn, but that is a great question. Was, it, was, it, was, it, was that a good answer? <laughs> <laughs> On the snow. <laughs> You're going skiing this weekend too? Excellent, nice. That's awesome. Do, do, do you do the skiing with the little, um, the, the poles or do you just do just the, the skis. I used to ski just like a little bit. So I don't know a whole lot about it. I had fun. But 
All I am is enthusiastic, not knowledgeable. <laughs> Somehow Twitch just showed me my Sharknado clip. Weird. Um, I, I don't. I wouldn't, I wouldn't know why. It's one of the most recent videos, I think, so maybe that's why. Fans are not much of it in the States. Is your fair, fair. Well, again, can't they, like, make... They can just, like, make fake snow, can't they? Didn't realize how many hills meant close. No. Today was probably one of the better conditions. Well, that's good. I am. I'm glad that it uh, that it worked out then. And hopefully get, you can get more in. However, the season continues to go. Used to not ski with poles, but you bought some this year. Okay. So, differences? Does, does it... it Using it makes using the poles makes life easier. <laughs> for skiing, for skiing. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's too late. I have no filter. Okay, uh, turns. So we did our turns. We talked about our turns. Um, now we will do instrument flying, straight and level. <laughs> okay, instrument flying. Uh, so we're just gonna uh, go like this. So instrument flying, straight and level flight. Um, we are using our instruments to uh, make sure we stay, stay straight and level. So our attitude indicator is going to be our, again, so as private pilot, uh, hang on. Okay, so my, the one DPE that I was going to have, hang on. His thing was if there are standards for one of the tasks, we should probably turn around. Um, if there are standards for the tasks, for the task that we do that is in the commercial level, we'll do it to commercial level. But if it's for um, private level, we'll do it to private level. Um, so instrument flying. When I was practicing it with my instructor, I was going a bit in depth with it. Um, but my instructor basically said, again, you're not teaching instrument flying it's basically just to get out of um imc conditions if you somehow if the student somehow finds themselves finds yeah if the students somehow find themselves in those conditions so basically since they're not trained focus them on the attitude indicator and then cross check with the other stuff so you're going to keep your eyes primarily not primarily on the attitude indicator but you're going to use that the most cross check speed make sure that's not moving uh dg make sure that's not moving attitude in the or altimeter make sure that's not going so we're going down just a little bit so just gentle corrections not too much um you can always put more in so yes just maintaining get it back onto that southerly heading get us back up to that altitude again just a little bit for our correction and then recover yay straight and level flight instrument flying is done um uh performance maneuvers we're gonna do lazy eights because apparently that's what the dp that i'm potentially going to be going with now uh did for his last csi check ride so uh, okay. Can make snow, uh, but temps need to be oh need to be freezing. And had a really warm winter. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Interesting. Just getting around is so much easier with the poles, because like yeah, because like when you're on just like the flat stuff and you're trying to like get places to where you can actually do the downhill stuff, right? I, re I remember that. Now that you say that, it's just like I shuffle, 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 shuffle. I'm going to not do that with my runners. That's funny. <laughs> um, but awesome. I am. I'm glad they're working out then. Hilarious. It was perfect. What was even more hilarious is uh, you were singing the jazz song, and then the jet blew over me and burned out of nowhere. Yes, I did. I enjoyed, I enjoyed that uh, thing. It just worked out pretty perfectly. You'll be skiing again tomorrow. Yes. And getting the skis waxed overnight. So, do you wax? I, I, I okay. Your own. I, the skis, like. I have. I've known other people who have skied more. So, like. Is it preferable to have somebody else wax the skis, or is 
there are like reasons why you'd prefer to wax your own skis. A lot of time waxing skis. Debating whether or not to get your own waxing setup, but right now you can get it. Oh, get it done for free. Uh, there is your entire pro column. <laughs> it is free. Perfect. That's oh, that's awesome. Oh, right, because of um, uh, because of uh, what you're doing with the skiing, correct? Ski patrol. Yes. So they do it for you for free. That's awesome. What a perk. <laughs> oh God. Okay. Getting back to it. All right, so lazy eights. Um, we're going to do us some lazy eights. We're going to get ourselves onto a cardinal heading. We are. Um, get ourselves to a decent altitude. Proper altitude. And I really don't want to be messing with this for too long, so we're about ready to just go at 3,400. Yeah, we're just gonna go at 3,400. I hate, I hate the, po oh, oh, almost got a gamer word, but I caught it. I hate the trim button, I do, with a passion. A burning, burning passion. Leaning on my rudder pedals. So lazy eights, we're getting back to a friggin' cardinal heading. We're fuming about the trim button. We've overcorrected. Do not overshoot. Do not overcorrect. Watch your headings. Gentle corrections. You get what you pay for, though. Fair, fair enough. But but they but they want you. God damn it. They, they they want they want you to have good quality stuff, though. I would assume. Oh. Oh, it'll be the oh first wax since new. Okay. All right, hang on. Okay, we're just gonna we're just gonna friggin' do it because I'm not gonna I'm not gonna get it proper. Anyway, so I I can't. I cannot friggin' hold out to this friggin' aircraft because I hate the friggin' trim button and that's fine, it's fine. Alright, anyway, so lazy eights and I keep leaning to the friggin' left because this just does not it, it just still does not feel correct, which is fine. So, lazy eights. We're gonna start to the left. We're going to put just a little bit of bank, about five degrees of bank, in, and then we're just gonna start pulling with our yoke. Bring it back, bring it back. We're not getting it over 30 degrees. About at this point, we're at our, oops, we're gonna start letting the nose drop. Coming around nine degrees, we should be at our lowest point. I think, hang on. It's coming through the horizon at 90 degrees, lowest point at 135, and then, oh God, where are we at? And then we're coming back up to here. Oh, for the love. Um, five, five degrees of bank on this one, and we're just gonna bring it up and over the horizon, then we're gonna bring it down, oops, that's a bit much, not more than 30 degrees, student, uh, and then we're gonna, yeah, bring it, bring it, bring it like so, and then we're gonna bring it back up to the horizon, right as we hit our nice southerly heading, and we, uh, oops, frick, there, yes, that was terrible, but, um, <sighs> I forgot everything. Uh, so again, it's like the, um, so it's five degrees of bank and you're bringing it up and you're not, you're gradually, bank is increasing. And then at about the 45 degree point, you're at your highest. 90 degree point, it comes back through the horizon. 135, you're at your lowest point with a decreasing bank angle. And then you get back there. And then again, other side, you're gonna need a little bit more right rudder. Probably almost no bank. 
So like a little, a little bit, a little bit, then make sure, oops. 45 degrees. Highest point coming back through the horizon. 90 degree point. Lowest point, 135. And then ending at our heading level with the horizon. Oh God. Oh my gosh. What happened? Oh no. Sorry. There was a bunch of strain. Oops. My bot went friggin' wonky. Um, okay. Sorry. Oh, whoa. Hang on. I am lost in the chat. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Um, hang on. Hang on. Getting back. Getting back to things. Ooh, they have a machine. Ooh, they have a machine. That could be interesting. If you're skiing on man-made snow, ooh. Man-made snow, not scraping the wax is not a bad thing. Man-made snow is more abrasive on the, oh, the wax is the real stuff. Interesting. Just bought new goggles, though, so you're going to hold off before buying more equipment. Okay, fair. <laughs> Smith Mag Isle. That sounds interesting. Difference between your old goggles, though, is crazy. That's good. It does. All it takes is, like, one, one little piece. Ooh, a sleeve or a bag. That would be interesting. Well, just like just like regular glasses, I guess. Although I still scratch my glasses. Uh, am, am I in the U.S. or Canada? I am in the U.S. M may I ask you, where are you? It has. It's been it's been fun going over um, differences between because they are very similar in a lot of ways, and then and then and then very different in others. So yeah, so that was Lazy 8. It was questionable. Two Lazy 8s, definitely questionable. I feel like I... No, well, I don't know. <sighs> we'll just we'll just go with it. We did Lazy 8. So um, now we can... We'll do our stall. We'll do our stalls. So we first get into slow flight. So we're going to bring our power back. We're going to hold our altitude. And when I say hold our altitude, we're going to get down to the altitude that we want it to be at. <laughs> Um, and okay, so and this is this is one of the things I was getting at. So the uh, power off stall, power on stall for private, you do it to the brake. Shoot, um, power on stall for private, you do it to the brake, and then for commercial, you do it just to stall. So power off, we'll do it to the full, and then we want to do a secondary stall. So maybe we'll just do that one after the other. Let's let's yeah, let's go with that. So carb heat flap. One notch below 100, two notches below 90, three notches below 80, um, and then we whooshed. full break, and then we second stall. Ooh, then we recover. We do full throttle in, full nosing it down. Maintaining one notch of flaps out. Climbing out at VY. Next notch of flaps and next notch of flaps. Carb heat goes off. We get back onto our heading. Climb back. I, uh, yeah. I'm so focused on doing the maneuver that I'm like not even doing the teaching aspect of it, really, I feel like. I'll have to go back through and look, but I do. I don't feel like I am. So we did performance maneuver. We did our stall. We did our second stall, which is our secondary stall. And then, hello, hello! Scotty Duhani, thank you for the raid. How is it going? How was your stream? What were you doing? Welcome. Oh, God, sorry. Oh, oh, okay. Sorry. Hang on. Going back, going back, going back. Having your own combo over there, that that's absolutely fine. Like, I do. I like... 
I like to address all of them, but then it's just like, I, I, I don't know anything. So I could just probably like let you guys have that convo and not be the weirdo inserting things. But yes, it is, it is interesting though. I like hearing about it. So I'll just, I'll just observe. How's that? So now is a four letter word and is not wanted on Sunday. It is sometimes wanted, sometimes not wanted. It depends, it depends. Canada, you're currently finishing off your PBL. Very close to the US border though. So where exactly at are you in the finishing of the PBL? And that's awesome. What are you? And now here comes the barrage of questions. How did you get into flying? What would you like to do with it? Um, yes, Red, hello. Good, how about you? We're <laughs> we're going well in general, um, but the flying and the practice instructing is not quite going well. <laughs> Just testing the frame gen mod. Uh, so uh, elaborate. How about how 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 about how about us? Um, so yes, we are doing first mock ish, very mock ish. Uh, CFI instructor check ride and it's yes if we don't have anything nice to say we won't say it at all so yes there's nothing nice nothing nice to say about this mockage check ride yeah it is not wanted it's a nor'eastern expected more than a foot it could be fun though. Snowmen and snow forts and 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 having a very very good excuse to not have to go anywhere. <laughs> no, yay snow. It all depends on your perspective. Okay, so we did stalls we did the thing uh now we have to go do freaking uh ground reference maneuvers and uh, there is words i can't say because i'm a lady um not a whole lot of good areas to do such things so <sighs> uh, okay 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 here we go we have a road thank god um Let's just make sure we're not um, over, like, seriously populated. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Oh my god, here we go. <gasps> Look at So, we have chosen our point, at least. Our turnaround of point point. Um, so, first we have to figure out where our... Hello, hello! Thank you for the follow, Biohaz57. I appreciate it. I apologize for everything, but I appreciate you putting... <laughs> me i promise i fly better than an actual plane um and again this is my first time just like not going not going into this with like full scripts so it's pretty rough i have always hated improv like and that's almost it's not it's not quite what this is like i have the script hang on let me quick see 1340 11 like 1100 so 2100 we're trying to get to so we're getting to 2100 for our altitude because that is pattern altitude around in this area based on this obstacle labeled on this map so then we're going to find out what our Uh, wind is um, by turning around our <laughs> why not just turn turn around our point checking our ground speed Ground speed is 116 here, but I could, yep, okay. So it looks like it might be from the south. That's 108. 
Sorry, I'm gonna I'm gonna just try and do this here quick, like a normal person. <laughs> Ground speed. Let's get us to like a level attitude. Ninety one. So yes, we're gonna go with south for our headwind. So we have our I don't like this at all, but okay. Um we're going to go upwind about a mile, and then we're going to come back down about half a mile from our, to the right of our point to start our turn around a point. I will, I will get back to chat. I just really want to get through like this, this thing quick, just because we found a good, perfect spot. Frick. I keep leaning on my dumb, silly pedal. Sorry. Okay, okay, okay. Need to be properly positioned. So, there is our point getting set up. We're bringing our power down. Then we're going to pick a couple points to use as half mile reference points on either side. Let me look. Yes. And when we are a beam, we have our uh, greatest degree of bank around uh, in our first turn, maintaining our altitude, which is not eights on pylons for the love. Uh, so yes, we're dividing our attention between uh, making sure we are maintain. This is not eights on pylons. This is not eights on pylons. I'm sorry. Um, using our half mile references in order to create a nice equidistant circle, maintaining our scan. Oh, what happened? Oh no, oh no, hang on. This is fine, this is fine, hang on. We're gonna finish, out, finish this out. So confused. I think we did a little more than we were supposed to. I'm. S oh God. This is the worst turnaround of. <laughs> then my track IR came undone. Uh, I I'm not sure. Oh, I was supposed to exit there. Okay. Um, so we were supposed to exit. Forty-five degrees in the downwind. Uh, but things are wonk. So. Hang on for a second. Uh, we're going to go to chat quick while uh, uh, as I fix. Oh, my gosh. Hang on. Okay, it did. It just slipped down. I almost thought I full on broke it. Okay, and back. So now I'll get back to chat and then we'll go over that kind of maybe. It, uh, what? Oh, God. I don't. Turn this off. Oh, no, we didn't quite. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. So we fixed this. Um, now we have to continue one more. Hang on. So there it is. So now that we're getting back into our tail. Hang on. What? It's coming from the south. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're going to have to go over this one in a little now. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Well, you know what? So, common errors. Um, uh, not picking suitable points, which leads you to not remembering which point you started at. I could have sworn I needed one more turn, but then... Yeah, and then I stopped three quarters of the way through. That's a 
friggin' bus. Um, and then, yes, our altitude is its own thing, but then again, this I cannot control this aircraft, and then we are exiting, and we'll go over more of that in a bit. So, okay, all right. Um... You're working on flight test check ride prep. You're written in all the prerequisites are complete. Your goal is to want to be an airline pilot. Nice. Do you have specifics in mind? And that's awesome. How like do you have it scheduled? Or not yet? How the frame gen mod working? Gave you screen tearing. That sounds scary. Do plan to instruct to build hours as you have the passion to teach. Your good. Your flight school is in Abbotsford. Very nice. Okay, that sounds familiar. I wonder if we've like gone up there in the sim. That's great, and that is like the fact that you have that passion for it is just that much better because it is. It's good for building hours, but it's also if you don't like it, it's not good for building hours. So yeah. Are you in, like, a fast-track program at all, or are you uh, kind of going with the flow-ish? You'd rather be <laughs> the sim flying on Sunday, not shoveling snow. Well, if you're in the sim flying, then you don't need to shovel the snow. So, win-win. Um... Oh my gosh! You did your PPL there, going back for more, starting with your night reading. That's so cool! Bringing people together! That's so cool. Oh, and then, what? Another one? Are you all just like up there? <laughs> oh, hello! Uh, be honest, how's my caffeination level? It is lacking. It is lacking. How are you? Happy New Year. Good to see you. <laughs> this, I, I am interested in how this is unfolding. <laughs> I wonder, well, then, uh, is 74 when catching up on chat? It's a reference to 74 gear. Yeah, isn't uh, the isn't he the airline guy? I've watched some of his stuff. Is that the one or am I thinking of a different one? <laughs> Suddenly all the Canadians in here. Absolutely, that's awesome. <laughs> Ooh, suave on the radio. It's always good. Uh, what head tracker am I using? Um, I am using uh, Track IR and the Pro version. So the non-Pro version is like a little sticky uh, thing that clips onto the head thing up here. Um, and this one clips here. And uh, I've heard uh, good things about it. I just went with it at the time because it was best option. And yes, absolutely worth it. Because then, yes, can just move around rather than using the mouse and everything. Um, so yes, it's a lot, it, it adds to that realism and just makes it easier. So yes. <laughs> that's where you call your home, your harem airport? Oh, that's so cool. Okay, that's why it sounds familiar. Okay, perfect, there we go. That is, that's so awesome. It's a reunion of sorts. <laughs> going with the flow okay would say your school is a mon shop nice good those are good progressing as quickly oh gosh as you can right now you fly three days a week that's 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 awesome anything like at least two days and then more than that is even better so um okay <laughs> so we've 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 talked about this a little bit but i keep forgetting so part 91 versus Part 61, how does that go there? So like part, so er, sorry, part 141 and part 61. 141 is the more schoolish. And then 
the part 61, I would assume, yes, is the more, the more Ma and Pa shop. Un unless. <laughs> so yes, I'm definitely a part 61 person. I've heard people go part 61 and then move on to the 141. So for now, just 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 sticking with the sixty one, thinking about going one forty one at all, or but again in in that in those terms. <laughs> Damn it, you don't have time for Jordan. Dang it, cause yeah, oh god, it is. Yes, we oh we should, we do need to continue. We gotta do eights on pylons and then normal landing, short field takeoff, short field landing, and then done. I think right, and then we're just skipping emergency procedures because it's just no. <laughs> not not right now but darn it that's okay we just got to get through it it'll 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 be fine i don't know i'm just i'm so ticked that i picked like the worst freaking spot for ground reference maneuvers and that was actually where you did one of your flights of the night too oh my god you ended up getting the plane uh, out before the annual. Yay! Four mile visibility that day. Oh, gosh. It seems like... I did. I remember back starting training. I was terrified of any sort of marginal VFR. And then my uh, commercial instructor during... Yeah, during commercial training he he had us go out in the four statue or unless it was my other one i can't remember um i went out with one of my instructors in four statue miles and it was it was like n nerve wracking but at the same time it was better than i was expecting definitely wouldn't want to like at the time do it by myself but yeah it was it was it was interesting. So you got the plane out before annual, so it is now annual. All good, I hope. Canada, most schools are equivalent to modular schools, not like structure schools. Oh, really? Okay, sounds good. Well, that's nice, because I, I, I'm, I prefer those anyway. <laughs> Whatever I just said, okay. Most of not all schools are pay as you go. Okay, okay, fair enough. Don't have differences. Okay, sounds good. Well, nice, because yes, I am. I'm definitely partial to that. Correct. You got to experience both part 61 for private and part 141 for instrument and commercial. And going back to 61 for CFI. Preference? 61, gang. Unite. You can do DoorDash air, but only if I'm willing to try to catch it outside the window. Perfect. Sounds good. Let's do it. <laughs> when you flew into AirVenture last year, ooh, there was only four miles of visibility. And again, how many, how many planes were about at the time? I'm trying, I'm trying to, I'm trying to remember. Cause I remember, um, the other year you went very early in the morning and I'm trying to remember when you got in this year. DoorDash Air, Captain Cornhorn has already deemed it that way. <laughs> Plane is now, oh, is now an annual. So you're w waiting to find out. Oh. 141 just sounds like such a nightmare to you. I, I'm sure it depends. I'm sure there's good ones, but definitely not not for me. Just remember I I asked for this. All right, okay. I'm I'm somewhat watching. Do not understand these 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 numbers. Which number? <laughs> but yes, I, I do. I'm yes. The part six yes, part sixty one is more um Yes, the more more pay as you go, more on your own time, and then yeah, one forty one is just general, just more school. Still in the case, yes, we are. We're uh, I'll I'll start wandering that way a little bit more. We're a bit to the north, closer to uh, Hotel Seven Niner, but I'll start work. We'll start working our way back over that way because we have to find where we're going to do eights on pylons. So this will be fun. Honestly, like, th th 
I am. We're definitely gonna. I'm gonna definitely keep this in mind because this is just this is just ticking me off so much that there are not straight roads and intersections that I can just be like, oh, and if you look here, the perfect, perfect pylons. Sorry, it's that time of the evening, apparently. 141 has its advantages, but yeah, definitely more of a 61. A lot of people go into 141 because it's easier to get, oh, loans through there. Fair enough. Okay. You tried early in the morning again, but there was a line before the arrival opened last year. Okay, sounds good. And just part of the adventure. Yeah, the air adventure. What is K's bearing from my current position? Uh, almost directly south from me. So go north. Go north. Okay, I am. I'm. I'm. We're flying. We're flying back that way, looking for pylons. 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 Um. Okay. So as we're looking for our pylons, we're gonna fill the space so that it doesn't seem like. Uh. Okay. And uh, we have a southerly. Southerly, yes. So um, we need to find east to west pylons. <clears throat> oh joy, because I was looking over here. And that is a hello, hello! Thank you for the follow, Mach 6X. Uh, you need to call it a night. Sounds good. Good night, Great Group. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Appreciate it. Um, yes, I apologize for everything. <laughs> Um, we usually do, we usually fly on Tuesdays. It was just a weird week this week because New Year's. So, um, usually, it, again, usually Tuesdays, I will let you know on my Discord if you're interested, if things will change. Um, yes. Uh, in the future, we sometimes, we like to do games on Sundays and then do reading on Thursdays. Would like to get back to Sherlock at some point, um, but at the moment... Flying on, flying on Tuesday, barring changes. So yes, happy to have you here. Thank you for being here. Appreciate it. Hope you have a good night. Have a great weekend. Hope to see you again soon. And all the good things. Um, the, yes, so we were looking for the eights on pylons. For the love. Okay, so again, we're trying to go southerly. Oh, what what server? U.S. East. U.S. East. You, it's we're usually on U.S. East. Let me know if you don't find me, because I don't think that I would have accidentally changed, but I don't know. You, you never know. Okay, uh, is this gonna? Oh, I don't I don't like it at all because you know what? Okay, we're gonna go this way because maybe. Because one of the things is of the eights on pylons, you want to make sure that you will that your points, your pylons are going to remain visible. And I just feel like I'm probably gonna lose those. You know what? We're potentially just gonna probably have to call it for this one. So. uh uh, I don't, I don't like it. I don't like this at all. Oh. Should probably get going too. Got to pick up your skis tomorrow morning. It sounds good. Good to see you. Um, and yes, good to hear things are well. And oh God, see, and again, like I'm just losing all sense of. Me, me, he, me, me, he, me. Uh, okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Mock friggin' check drive. It's stupid. North. Northerly. We are going northerly and losing all sense of direction. Why are we going northerly? Uh, because we were setting up for our eights on <laughs> Uh, northerly? Uh, we're going. Oh, uh, mm. <laughs> We're going like this. We're just gonna, we're gonna wing it. We're winging it. Uh, but yes, sorry, good night. <laughs> um, hope to see you again soon. Um, hope, hope the annual continues to go well, question mark. 
Um, eight, ten. And over here. Oh, God. That's for the... Oh, I mean words. I can't. So I'm, like, starting to aim for a... And I can't... can't do this either because that is north south so I'm starting to go this way and I just realized I'm going directly towards obstacles I just I'm sorry anyway um yeah sorry all the good things have a great week <laughs> look forward to hearing about um the annual and all the things so yeah your work Tuesdays and patrol Thursdays, but we'll try to catch a stream when you can. Sounds good. Uh, hope you hope you can. Otherwise, I hope all the things go well. And yeah, yeah. I do. I wish I wish it could work out um, differently, but tis what tis, I suppose. Um, and hello, how are you? We it's we uh, yes, it's <laughs> it's going. Um, it's been it's been good, and then now this is just not working out the way that I uh, would have preferred it to. So uh, yes, but uh, good. How are you? Happy New Year! Good to see you. But yes, we're gonna we're we're struggling through. You hear a voice on frequency. Rogue Niner for DoorDash Air is clear of the runway. En route to Waypoint Hotel Tree One Delta One. Sounds good. Looking forward to getting. My, oh, oh, that's that's our spot. That's our freaking spot. We did the thing, and then we... But, again... <sighs> okay, we're... Okay, so that's what I was doing. Uh, 1371 minus 518 is about 860. So we'll go with 900, add 800, 1700. We're going to make it 1800. Oh, God. God. 1800. Yeah, 1800. We're making it 1800 for our eight on pylon. Sorry you're late. No, no worries. Uh, I was very late, so it's it's just the way that it is. <laughs> you can tell by the way that it is. Um, okay, so we are going north. We're going to hope that we find our spot again. We're going to turn this way, actually. Rudders. Getting back on the rudders. We're not climbing. We're bringing our uh, thing down. We are avoiding... Um, obstacles. We're not banking more than 30 degrees. We're climbing to our pivotal altitude. Just talking about what we're doing, not all of the other stuff. The other stuff can come in later. So, southerly. Oh, God. Sorry. So, we're hoping... Hello! Okay! I'm opening the there! We got it! Yay! It splattered all... Can I... I... I'll get it this time. But we're also doing our aid on pylon, so we'll... Yeah, so we'll see how that works. So, we're aiming toward where we think our aids on Um... Uh, I, okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna quick just try to do this. Oh, you know what though? This is also not a good spot anyway. Frick, hang on, no, but I can't I can't I can't go over there because there's obstacles. Uh, I feel for every person who has to train. Oh, oh, okay, okay, so we're here. So we're like here. Who has to train under these conditions where you don't have nice straight things. Hang on, we're just gonna go like, okay, all right. So we're gonna do the edge of those trees uh, waiting for a 30 
degree. Uh, aiming toward the midpoint. <laughs> oh my god, this is not gonna go well. And it's all uppy downy, and I don't like it. All right, there we go. That's what we're doing. That point right there, 30 degrees, 1800. Uh, okay, the sun is just not uh, being kind at the moment. Thirty degrees. Uh, I'm unsure. We're oops. We're too high. So we're bringing it down. I am not sure we're in the right spot. <laughs> Hello, chuck it. I'm flying north through a beam. And then we're gonna aim for our midpoint again. So the reason we have a higher ground speed or a higher pivotal altitude is because we have a higher ground speed than we anticipated. Not because I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> because I can't see what I'm doing and it's already late. So I don't wanna take the time to figure out what we're doing. So. Um, we're going to use that there road right there. So. Once we get a beam. We're a little bit a beam. So bringing it back a little bit. Doing it like a tether, it's a little behind. Maintaining our scan, as well as our altitude. Climbing and descending to the pivotal altitude based on our ground speed at whatever point of the turn. And exiting 45 degree from the midpoint after we have leveled our wings at our highest pivotal altitude. <laughs> How did I mess up that badly? <laughs> oh, oh, shit. Oh no, um, this little lab map is not gonna go <laughs> well. Oh no, okay. So, uh, um, we did our eight on pylons. Let's go do some landings and takeoffs, right? <laughs> we did all the other stuff, right? Yep, we did turns around, a we attempted turns around a point. Okay, we're heading back to the airport. So common errors, um, <laughs> completely missing. Oh, sorry. You need me to fly straight for a little. We're flying straight for a little. Here we go. We're, hang on. We're heading back towards the airport. <laughs> Keep an eye behind and above. Okay, here, here. How about I, I'm just gonna pop up on top. How's that sound? I'll catch it. I will catch it. Looking, I found you, yes. <laughs> oh God, wrong way. <laughs> oh, wrong freaking way. It's really difficult to fly outside of the aircraft. I'm also leaning on my pedals probably. I'm some, okay, hang on. I'm sorry, hang on. <laughs> There, okay. I am I am straight and level. I'm straight and level. <laughs> I'm trying very hard to be straight and level. <laughs> it's 
snake head Captain Gordon, he's a straight line and a steady altitude. <laughs> well, you can't do that in an Adon pylon. We're trying now, though. I have no excuse now. Okay, so I can, I will hold. I'm holding, I'm holding. 2,700 on like a 120 heading. Here. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. There. Uh, oops. There. There. Okay. I can fly a little bit better like this. Uh, altitude. 2,700. Uh, oops. Nope, that's okay. Straight and level. Straight and. Ah, hello! Hello! <laughs> Waiting for caffeine drop off! Although we only have takeoffs and landings left. <laughs> we're, we're headed away from the airport. You gotta drop it off! Where'd you go? I have been going straight and level, kind of, for a little bit. <laughs> like you just keep kind of like popping in and out of in and out of the frame. Oh wait, hang on. Sorry, twenty-seven hundred. Oop, oop, oop. Nope, nope, nope. Straight, straight. We got, we got. Turn back toward the runway. Where'd you go? <gasps> Why are you down there? Can can I turn back? I'm gonna turn back toward the runway. I'm gonna turn in a southerly direction. Or. I take it you're focused on flying. Just check it through my window. I have the window open. Oops, hang on. I'm also kind of not going uh, as straight anymore. Little bit of a level out attitude, altitude. I'm, 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 gonna, I'm gonna turn back toward the runway. You're gonna have to set up. Oh, oh, nope, you're coming, you're coming. Okay, all right, all right. I am straight, I am level. Ah! There it is. <laughs> I am straight and level. I feel like I'm not gonna have any caffeine left. And oh! Did it, are, are you gone? That didn't look good. <laughs> Finally, perfect, there we go, yay! Thank you for my caffeine. That was that was that was almost frightening. How do you use a freaking? But <laughs> you shot it into my window. Thank you. I and Ducky both very much appreciate it. Oh God, I'm I am I'm so sorry. <laughs> hey, whatever it takes, whatever it takes. All right. <laughs> We're gonna turn back toward the runway now. We'll do a normal landing. We'll do a short field uh, takeoff and a short field landing. Then we're freaking done because, oh my God, I gotta go to bed. Um, so yeah, uh, the, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, we have a different version of straight and steady altitude. I was good for like a few seconds. <gasps> Look how pretty it is. Okay, sorry, hang on. It's so pretty. Aww. We've been flying this long. Uh, it's already sunset. <clears throat> and I'm losing my voice, I guess, it seems. Yes. Apologies. Um, okay. So. Yes, I, I, I don't. I do not have full control of this aircraft, especially when I'm not fully focusing, and especially when I'm flying outside it. So, I apologize. But I was supposed to be looking for you. So I did. Oh, I could probably also shut this. There. Okay.
So, getting back for landing. Um, 869. So, 1869 is what we're aiming for. So, we're going to drop it. Because I have nothing left. Landing, zero four, rechecking the weather just in case. One three, um, really? Oh, uh, it is a crosswind of four knots, so it's fine. Um, bringing it. Uh, nope, not bringing it back. 1869. Lisi fine traffic. Cessna Hotel Tree 1, Delta 1. Three miles east of the airport at 2100. Inbound for runway, to cross the runway, enter left downwind for runway 04. Lisi fine. You know what? We're going to do a short field landing first. Short field takeoff, normal landing. So that hopefully we can end on a good note <laughs> with our normal landing. Although maybe, no, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what, it, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Okay. So, getting to our pattern altitude. There we go. There's the runway. Oh, good lord. Yes, there it is. Sorry. Oh, look at over the river and through the woods. That's so pretty. <laughs> Hello. Oi, oi, oi. Okay, so again, so short field. Sorry, take off. Um, landing, landing, short field landing, um, is like a normal landing, which we'll demonstrate later. Um, however, we land short. I need to remember, uh, nope, not going to say that out loud. Um, so we come in a little slower, a little steeper, and, uh, we set it down firmly, uh, with minimal float, and we, on the rollout, we... Simulate maximum braking, but also just generally brake. Um, uh, Lisi fine traffic, Cessna Hotel Tree 1, Delta 1, crossing the field. Enter left downwind. Zero 04. Lisi fine, I'm sorry. Oi, oi, oi. Um, uh, left downwind, zero 04. Lisi fine. Lisi fine traffic, Cessna Hotel 31 Delta 1, left downwind 04, Lisi fine. I am not at pattern altitude, which is going to make it more difficult to do this thing, keeping it at that cruise. You know what? Actually, I, uh, no, because, I don't know, no, 1869, we're good. So I feel like this aircraft, this sim aircraft works a lot more like the 172 that I started off flying but since it is 152 I figured it would be closer to the 150 that I am currently flying hang on so now we RP goes out first notch a flap oh and bring it down to 1500 um so yes, we're not drifting in toward the uh, runway, making sure of that. Letting ourselves start descending. We'll turn our 45 degree base when we have lost 200 feet or at 45 degrees, whichever comes first. So we'll make our turn, base turn. Second notch of flaps. That's not the correct button. Was it? Yes, sorry. Um, checking final. Oh, it's so pretty. <laughs> um, making sure nobody's coming in. 
bringing that power up just a little bit. We got it a little bit low. We're going to maintain our altitude here for just a little bit. We want to have a bit of a steeper descent on final. We got a little bit out from the out from the runway. I will say when when the runway is like <sighs> surrounded by trees, it does throw me off in here. Uh, Lucy Fine traffic stuck in the Hotel 31 Delta one. Final zero four Lucy Fine. Overshot a little bit. We're just gonna keep our nose coming down. These trees look a lot larger than they're supposed to be, and I feel like that's like a thing, isn't it? Right? So we're increasing our power to maintain um, <clears throat> our altitude. We're not trying to climb at all. Thank you, Four Flight. Uh, well, it is in my mental route, so thank you, Four Flight. All right, so we put our third notch of flaps in, and we are going to uh, come down. Our aiming point is actually before the runway. We're going to uh, try to make it. Um, <clears throat> or we're not going to try to make it. We're aiming to land on the numbers. Or within a hundred feet, and then we're gonna break and flaps go up and oh, Carby doesn't need to go out, I guess. That wasn't terrible, I guess. <laughs> Um, but hello! How's it going? We're gonna get back on center line and do our short field takeoff. What up? What up? Sorry, I have to move a little bit. I got I gotta move a little bit. I gotta adjust a little bit. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hover, hover. That was actually really good practice for when you do pretend at police chase track. <laughs> nice. Oh, I mean hey! I was like, oh yeah, happy to be of service. And then, no, that is, it's insulting, but also accurate. All right, okay, so I, I, am, I am here. We're, we're going to start, I'm gonna check the weather again. Watch, watching what you're doing. 3022, so it's not too bad. What up, what up? Do you have more caffeine for me since most of mine spilled? as you're attempting to police track me, police chase track me. <laughs> um, uh, so, cleaning up the aircraft, checking the things. Um, walk 720 bombs with some extra coffee. Oh, thank you. I'll take it. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you very much. It is necessary. We have one more takeoff, one landing to go. And then we'll check a little nav map and then we'll be freaking done for the freaking evening. As always, I, I do. One of my New Year's resolutions is to be earlier with these things. It hasn't started out well, but we have time. It's a transition week. All right. So so, so we're going to do a short field takeoff now. Um, oh, okay. Yay. Bye. Thank you. Much appreciate the caffeination. And the company. <laughs> um, so yes, yeah, so short field takeoff. Um, we are going to, oops, we're on center line. We're holding the brakes, powering up, keeping our hand on the throttle. Once it's in the green, release. Then just like a normal takeoff, we maintain our center, center line. <laughs> Watching for traffic. Um, ah! Not looking, sterile cockpit. And we climb at VX, which is 70 in this one. And when we have cleared our obstacle, we can bring our nose 
down so that we can scan for traffic. <sighs> All right, so 1300, we will do our check, our climb check. Right now we're just maintaining our runway heading, scanning for traffic. 1300, um, green, green, flaps are up, carb heat, mixture's full, rich, uh, trim, fuel, they say carb heat, I meant to say carb heat. Um, and then now we make our crosswind turn, getting to our 1869. <laughs> Not more than 30 degrees of bank in our turn. There we go. Okay. 1 1000, 2 1000, 3 1000, 4 1000, 5 1000. At least we find traffic. Says to hello, Hotel Tree 1 Delta. Left downwind, 04. At least we find. New. Bringing our power out. Sorry, so I am. I'm going back to. Um, I might. I might just go back to. I, since I'm flying the 150, generally, um, and I get plenty of practice with that, I am going to start doing how I used to fly the 172. In this one, because I do think that it actually performs more properly with that. So we're, oh, we're at 2,000 actually. We're at 2,000. Um, 2,000, and for the love of God, sorry. Drop it like it's words. I keep saying, I'm a lady. I'm a lady. I promise. Uh, one notch of flaps below 100, and then once we're a beam, 1,500. Trim for minus 500 feet. Then again, not getting too, uh, oops, for the love of God. Um, at about 45 degrees or when we've lost 200 feet make our base turn. Oh, perfect. I will get back to chat one second. Oh, uh, there we go. Uh, perfect. Hello. Hello. Sorry. <laughs> Wide friggin' base turn. Second notch of flaps. <sighs> nice. Straight base. Straight base, please. Sorry. <clears throat> I'm gonna bring it up a little bit more. We are once again dragging this sucker in. On the base, this is fine. It's not fine. We're getting very close, hang on. Check in. Check in. Look at how pretty. Oh my gosh. Sorry. Um, yes. Yeah, so checking our final. Actually looking. We're not going to overshoot this time. I just feel like we're so freaking close to the trees. I feel like we're... I don't know. We overshot, but we... Ah, <sighs> this is fine. We're leaving our last notch of flaps out. We're good at the 20 degrees. Dragging her in. We're going to land in the first third of the runway. Center line should be through the shaft of the yoke. Which still seems to elude me. Uh, and then now we're getting 
flow so we can bring that throttle out. And I said first third of the runway, so I should just say before the thousand footers for a check ride. Oh God. And next time we will maintain our center line. That is something good to work on, uh, future students. And we're gonna get off the runway as quickly as possible because <laughs> I am dead. <laughs> oh, gets off the runway as slowly as possible because does not put throttle back in. We're good, this is fine. My God. Yeah, I, I feel like there was not a whole lot of like actual proper legitimate helpful instruction flow practice on that flight <laughs> but it was definitely helpful for recognizing that that's how it's prob not not how it's gonna go but definitely need to be able to um mentally pick out things that I need to I need to spew um, rather than going bit by bit by bit by bit by bit if that makes sense so yeah instead of doing every stall every ground reference maneuver every takeoff and landing one after the other after the other have to be able to do be able to switch between the different sections doesn't it feels wrong the center line needs to go for the love of god it needs to go there can i turn oh god i can i almost didn't go into the grass i feel like that's that's a little a little a little win tiny teensy easy deasy little bitty baby win we're just gonna what up what up at, at least we're not having that kind of a day sorry drop it like it's hot we we tried we definitely did no it's not about the blaze <laughs> really just very challenging to match speed oh and a rotorcraft oh interesting fair oh you could have told i could have done snow slow flight yeah, snow flight um yeah you're headed to bed. It's almost 3 a.m. there. We we are we are as well. We're gonna shut down. We're gonna look at little nav map and oh, that's actually a really nice, pretty straight line. Not anywhere that it needs to be, but okay. Anyway, sorry. We'll go over that. But good night, good night. Thanks for being here. Um, uh, good night, Pepper. If <laughs> he's not already in bed. Um, and yes, we will. We'll have a great weekend. Um, hope to see you next week. And yeah, until then, all the good things. <laughs> Drop the leg is hot. The plane. Yes, we did. Uh, it. Uh, we didn't. We didn't land too fiercely, but that was. That was. Uh, I'm like, oh, we're gonna land in the first third of the runway. Almost freaking passes the thousand. I promise. I do fly better in an actual plane. I promise. I promise. I promise. 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 Always have to say. Why need to be on voice when trying shenanigans? I don't know. Oh no, my chat. You normally fall asleep at 4 a.m. Central. Well, that's 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 good then. I think does math question mark. So yes, yeah, so we're not quite there yet. That's good. Um. Yes. For some reason, my chat didn't get your first message. So strange. I hope I haven't missed any other messages because of that. Um, you believe me. Oh, yes, that. That I fly better in an actual plane. <laughs> sorry. Again, I forget things as soon as I say them. It's that time of night. So, anyway. Sorry. Okay, shutting down. Look at, look at the, oh my god. Um, shutting down. Um, all of the electronical thingies. Like, I do. It is. It's one of those things where, like, when I'm flying, I'm like, I feel okay. But then, like, as soon as I'm, like, down and I'm not focused on, like, doing the things, it, it does. It really hits me. 
there were moments in like instrument check ride where that it was it was a really my instrument instructor was throwing all of the things at me for one of the lessons and I was like I felt pretty okay I mean like I didn't do all that great but like I felt kind of okay and then I got back down on the ground and I was like holy that definitely took a lot out of me so it did it it it's one of those things where you can you can feel fine and probably not actually be fine so I am safe checklist and aeronautical decision making and risk management yeah did I have too many drinks tonight unfortunately not <laughs> No, it is. It's just really, really late. And we did. We. The ground lesson took a bit out of me as well because it was not. I, I wasn't expecting it to be that. <laughs> to not to go. To, to, I expected it to go better than it did. Again, the first three quarters were fine. The last quarter. So, yeah, that was a thing. And then trying to do this. For the first time, not on, like, full script, making it up as we go, and then not having proper points and stuff that I could follow. Do not underestimate the fatigue of flying manual. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, exactly. Well, and that's the thing, because my instructor brought this up. Um, I'll get out into the thing. Um, hang on. My instructor brought this up because I flew... Because with my ferry flights, among all of my other training and practice and stuff like that, um, he brought up at this point in his training and by as many... Hey, look, it's you! <laughs> um, by this point in his training, I probably, at this point in my training, have more flight hours not on autopilot. <laughs> Um, or cross-country non-autopilot flight hours than he did. So, yeah, go me? <laughs> Question mark? I have not. I have not. Um, what am I doing? Sorry. Putting this. Oh, it, it is. It's freaking. It's hitting me. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. The fact that you didn't put the S in MSFS, it really makes. When I do. <laughs> MFs. I don't, I don't want. I can't say the word because it's not ladylike, but it makes me think. You almost always fly manual, so you need a break every couple hours. Oh God, it has been more than that. So yeah, yeah, yeah. It's 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 that it's that time. Damn drone pilot photographer stalkers. <laughs> oh, oh little nab map. Okay, so first, so. So debrief. We started with our principles of flight ground lesson practice. Um, again, story behind that. This was the principles of flight was the first flight plan that I ever made. And this was months ago. And I did it on a whiteboard, and then I had my paper lesson plan. Um, and the plan and the plan was is from the lesson plan, draw all the things out. And it would create a thing. And I realize now, after months of doing lesson plans, I and how the check ride is going to go, I want to do it PowerPoint because I don't want to. It looks like a frog. Oh my god, I'm so ex it looks. Oh my, sorry, I'm very excited about the frog. You'll see the frog. One second. Um, but yes, uh, for check ride, I want the PowerPoints uh, because I don't want to have to try to remember things in that stress in those stressful moments it just needs to be there i can do it do the thing good and i was work i've been working through it translating my or original lesson plan i put that all into the powerpoint and then i started uh organizing it better adding the images the pictures the diagrams um it was a little tough trying to find diagrams that I liked that kind of went with how I drew it, but we made it work. 
I got through thrust and drag and lift almost all the way. Pretty, pretty much all the way. There's adjustments that need to be made, things that need to be added. Um, and I got to practice it like once. And then weight did not get through. And haven't practiced that in a while. And the weight and balance lesson is also something. Yes. So we got through tonight the lift, the drag, the thrust, the drag, and the lift. And then it went downhill from there. <laughs> the weight just, it, yes, I'll have to, I, it is. Definitely need to revamp that, um, <clears throat> kind of mesh it with the weight and balance lesson as well, and just generally enhance my understanding of all of the different factors of weight and balance. So that's how that went. And then this, this happened. Dun, da, da, da. Doesn't it look like a vlog? <laughs> it is a vlog! Look at that! He's Oh, it's almost like a tadpole frog. So you see his little eye, and his little mouth, and his little foot, and then his other little foot. He's a vlog. <laughs> Just because they it, nobody cares. No, I'm a lady. When I, I like to see more F1. Oh my gosh, so here's the thing. Um, it copyright striked me on YouTube with that. Or not copyright striked, but it had a copyright thing on that. So I can't show that stuff on stream, but you can send it in my Discord. <laughs> send it in my Discord. I am. I'm, I, I'm spent for the night as well. So yes, I didn't realize I had to. I should have known that, but yes, I have to be more careful about what I show on stream for copyright purposes. So my lines are pretty straight. They're just not exactly parallel. <laughs> look at how beautiful this is. I don't know how that happened, but look at it. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, so we, um, mock-ish, ish-ish, big-ish, ish, um, mock-ish, check ride. Yes. Yes. So, uh, it did. I ended up having to, like, let it cut that part out on the video for YouTube. So, yeah. Yeah. So that was unfortunate. Um, but yeah. Yes, send it, send it in my Discord, and I'll watch it when I'm less, um, this. Because I was. That stuff is super interesting. Okay, so we took off. Uh, we flew out. We did, we, uh, turned to the north-ish, and then we did clearing turns. Um, and then we did something there. We were supposed to fly straight. Uh, so, hang on. So we did our turns. Oh yeah, and then we did our instrument and we flew like that, I think. And then we started trying to set up for somewhere in here we did power. Er no, we didn't do that yet. We might have just been chatting. And then we got down here and we did our lazy eights, and those were um, and then we did more lazy aids to try and better those, but that was ish. So then we flew some more and we came over Can you even guess what this is supposed to be? <laughs> Twitch is one of the most heavily monitored sites by audio infringement. Automated software. Um, so so it was, it was just the, um, it was on YouTube, um, for the copyright strike. I don't think the VOD had any issues, but it was just when I was re-uploading it for storage purposes. So yeah, but yes, yes, definitely. And I didn't, I didn't think about that. So yeah, look at, oh my God, it's so we found out our wind was from the south. We found this spot to use, I guess, and it's terrible. It's a terrible friggin' spot, but we didn't have a whole lot of choices, as you can see, probably. Oh my gosh. So anyway, so we found that spot. We're like, screw it. Let's do it. Aha, that rhymed. So we turned around to find our best what's it, and we found that tailwind from the south. 
so we were coming this way. We came this way, and it was going all right-ish. And then uh, my track IR Pro fell down. So then, or I guess I should say my track IR fell down. And I got thrown off, and I thought that we were done here, and we had already... With the different circles, I couldn't tell where we started and where we had begun. So I thought we were done over here. So I thought I'd gone too far, but we didn't go far enough. So that's what happened there. Because we paused there and I realized we had to continue. And anyway, so that's supposed to be a turnaround of point. Worst one I've ever done in the sim. I would say maybe barring my first ones ever. Um, and definitely worse than any that I've done in real life. So that's awesome. So then we made the back of the frog, came around. We were looking for eights on pylons. We were trying so freaking hard for some proper pylons. Wait till, like, oh my God, do you, anyway. So we found a spot to do it. I think it's, it was supposed to be this road right here. Okay, okay. So then we flew up to come back and find it and then we lost it and found it again so then we had to turn back and I don't know something and then we sent it okay so we flew like this and we went to the midpoint started our turn and w uh, messed up and 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 went down here <laughs> it was supposed to be like this can you see my cursor? It's supposed to be like this. And we ended up like this. <gasps> this was the disaster. Oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very careful about you two. There's pretty much zero chance of successful appeals. So they're beyond process. It's automated. I've had um, a variety of copyright. Um, just like they'll be like, hey, you can't post this so then it's like either blocked so you have to cut it out but I've never had a strike at all yet I don't think so yeah it's basically um on some of the Buster Keaton uh ones that we've done when we watched his films um there were a couple at least one that's like fully blocked and I didn't want to cut it out because like then you miss the then you miss the stuff so that's kind of, I guess, not available. Um, but then, yeah, then there's been some other ones where it's like, oh, it's a copyright, but they allow it, so it's fine. And then, yeah, that one, it blocked it and had to cut it out. So, <laughs> things are bad sometimes, yes. But, yeah, so that's just a lesson learned for me not to do YouTube stuff unless I've vetted it beforehand. So, hey, how's it been? In general, it's it's been it's been good coming back from the holidays and stuff, getting back into the things. But uh, this eight on pylon basically demonstrates how this entire um, stream has been <laughs> started out somewhat okay, and then just went went to things. So, uh, other than that, uh, yeah, good. So, how are you? How's how's it been? Happy New Year. All the good things. Uh, then we came out, and I did, I realized, and we just came out, and I looked at it, and I was like, how? How did we end up north and south, like almost north to south? So, again, kudos and props and whatever else to people who do not have straight friggin' lines that you can utilize for these things. So, then we left, and look it, I was going straight and level for a little bit, or at least straight, kind of, for there. We were getting, we were getting our caffeine air cannoned into our window, turned back toward the runway, and made the straightest line of the night, as well as potentially ever in the stream, for me. Uh, and then, for some reason, oh... We had a we had a bit of a cross. We did. We had a bit of a cross that I completely. Um, but also, I I do. I think it was just the visual was throwing me off, and I just really needed to 
understand that better and read better and I don't know, but yes. Yeah. So we bopped out, had way too long of a base, overshot a couple times, were, was also dragging it in both times. We had done a normal takeoff beforehand. We did a short field landing. It went okay. I think we landed within our spot. And I remember to break this time. Yay. Uh, and then we did a short field takeoff, which was fine. And it looked like it was a bit more straight runway wise. Maybe. So I kind of turned and once again got way friggin' off. Came back in for a normal landing and it was. Yes. Almost to the thousand footers and definitely way off center line. So. Amazing, great, and then we taxied in, and we uh, uh, ignore that. <laughs> we almost didn't go into the grass this time, but we did anyway. So, started there, parked there, and that's that. Hey, hey, how late are you? Coming in right at the end. <laughs> um, yes, it is. It is quite late. It is quite late. Uh, for for this. Stream, but that's the way that it tends to be. But hello, hello, how are you? How is it going? I hope you're well. Um, I did want to quick throw out a couple things, I guess. Um, I well, we'll look at the frog. We'll look at the cute frog while I quick upside downish sort of almost like halfway inverted frog. Um, so not as bad as my thing. I'm just getting the landings. Uh, oh wait. I have no brain function left. <laughs> I'm sensing a joke. It's not registering, I'm so sorry. Oh, and don't forget, yes, don't forget I fly better in real life. <laughs> don't forget that. Uh, okay, so my instructor, current instructor, friend instructor, uh, that's a thing. Uh, friend instructor, is, he went to training last month, uh, like the initial training, um, and he finished before Christmas and he got the aircraft that he wanted. He wasn't thinking he was going to, and then he did. So really happy for him for that. He will be starting his type, um, training, uh, monthish. So, um, we have a little bit of time. So I said earlier, we're going to start working on mockish check rides or mock check rides. So I'm supposed to put together what I think, the check ride is going to be and be ready to do that for next lesson. <sighs> we got some work to do. <laughs> um, and I am also currently revamping the major lesson plans into PowerPoints and figuring out where to go from there. If I have enough time or if I really want to do PowerPoints for absolutely everything, or if I just want to be happy with my whiteboard ones, um, and just be able to do that for whatever ones he decides to do. Uh, the DP decides he wants me to do on the day. <clears throat> um, was going to one DPE, potentially going to a different DPE now. So that's a little bit of a adjustment, but also potentially not. I don't know. We'll see. Might work out better. So fingers crossed. And then had a lesson with instructor um oh so like i'm working on at my current airport uh my instructor does the gps updates for a variety of planes there and so since he's starting to get into where he's going to be gone more often i'm the one that's starting to take that over and so we did that again um this past week since he was back and it went pretty well i'm starting to get it down better but then all of a sudden there were some issues um oh wait hang on don't hurt my brain don't oh my like i am um, i'm just i it's like <laughs> it is it's it's bad it's bad but uh, and you say don't overthink it but that's like my my peanut butter and no bread and butter that one some sort of bread spread. <laughs> that sounded strange. Um, 
but yes no bra brain is already brain is already poof so yes do we learn anything absolutely not absolutely not this like this one in particular always or never never learn anything but particularly particularly not this one what plane am i flying right now um in real life uh cessna 150. i started out in a 172 uh with a stole kit and that one was fun and it was nice and it was really nice and stable my home airport i gotta go back and then now um i have flown i started I started in a regular 172, but it had a stole kit and a cruise prop, climb prop. One of the two where it canceled the two out. In the simulator. Oh, sorry. Uh, we were flying. We were flying the 150. Oh, oh, oh. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. We were flying. Now that you say that, the WB Sim JP Logistics 152 get it it's wonderful it has ducky and all the fun things um so yes that's the one that i always fly um the 152 was the closest to the one i originally flew and i've just kind of kept going with it and i just really like it so yes so that's the one um and then uh yeah sneaks in and presents a stream unseen but no we're finishing we're finishing um and then Yes, 150 is a good aircraft. It was. It was a lot of fun. It, it's definitely more sensitive than I'm used to, so that has thrown me a little bit. But working on it. Okay. Oh God. If I'm a if I'm a bus driver and 20 people get on, 15 get off, seven more people get on, and four people get off. How old is a bus driver? I ain't saying. <laughs> tisk, tisk, tisk. I know that one. If you would have done like any other um, trick question. Um, you might have gotten me, but that one, I, I see coming a mile away every time. Um, <laughs> uh, but yes, so I am, I'm, I'm, I'm starting to be the one taking over the GPS updates. Uh, any computer people, uh, let me know how bad this might be. So the attachment thing, so you have to plug in the thing in order to plug in the GPS card. And for some reason, it doesn't, you have to keep pulling it out, the GPS adapter, pulling the GPS adapter out and putting it back in uh, after every single card. Otherwise, it doesn't register it. And at one point, there was, it, it I can't remember what happened. I, cu I couldn't get the USB thing in the port. And then all of a sudden there was a notification that said power surge at the USB adapter. And then all of a sudden the computer started making noises. And my instructor and I were both like looking at each other like, oh God, what have I done? And eventually it stopped, but then the USB port didn't work again after that. So we had to use the one at the back. And then we got through most of them after that. And then there's... There's tiny cards, there's like little flat cards, and then there's like bigger sort of chunky cards. And we did the chunky cards at the end, and for some reason those weren't connecting, even though all the rest were fine. And then, so my instructor took those cards in the adapter home and it worked fine on his laptop. So I don't, I don't know. I don't think I completely broke the computer. <laughs> We'll, we'll find out, I guess. We'll find out. Um, the door handle on one of the planes came off. Luckily, that was my, my instructor was uh, handling haha, that at the time, so it wasn't my fault. Apparently, it, was, it looked like it had been welded before, so question mark. Um, and then it was. It was just a day. And then we went and we did ground reference maneuvers because that was our final, that was my final chunk lesson, flight lesson that I wanted to go over with him to get feedback on. And then, yes, now we're uh, moving on to the mock check rides. And I don't think there was really anything of note in there. So I think that's about where we're at. So yay. Anyway, that's update. And yeah, okay. I did get it. Haha. <laughs> and honestly, Okay, hang on. We're just going to see. 
if I can do the math. 20 people get on, 15 get off, so that's five. Seven more people get on, that's 12. Four people get off, that's eight. So I would have been able to do the math if I didn't already know the thing. He didn't want to know, I just wanted to see if I got. <laughs> well, I did, again. I, I have. I've, I've seen that one before and I kind of made it a, a point for myself to, uh, to to get that one and recognize that one and not fall for that one. So, <laughs> but I appreciate that. That was funny. So, yes. Au revoir to the frog. Uh, we will find somebody to raid. Oh, I will be going to bed immediately. So y'all have fun. Hoy. All right, making sure things aren't popping up that uh, windows, windows popping up that don't need to be popping up. Don't take any of this out of context. <sighs> Am I oops? Hmm. Oops, browse first. <sighs> ah, yes. Woohoo. <laughs> Send me Discord DM. Sounds good. Uh no rush on checking it. Sounds good. It will. I, I'm I'm gonna need to go to bed. So I will I will I will check things. Hopefully tomorrow. I do. I'm I'm bad at keeping up with that stuff when I don't have a stream coming up that day. But I'll try. Um let me see. All right, search, searching. We like our low and slow, our tiny planes. We'll see what we can find. Oh, that one's very loud. See ya, see ya. Good to see you. Um, yes, all the good things. Hope to see you again soon. We are. We're planning on. Doing Tuesday as per usual. Um, if anyone is not my Discord, I will. I'll let you know if anything comes up um, w where we won't do Tuesday. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, but, but, but otherwise, we, sh we should. Um, Sorry. <laughs> I am browsing. I am browsing. All right. Um, let me look. Thanks. Finding the things, looking at the things. That's gonna be fun. Hang on. <laughs> it's like there's people that are AFK, and then I think people that are ending, I'm like, come on, gosh darn it, hang on. I almost feel like this one is ending, but I'm also like... <laughs> I 
I do. I want. I want. I want to go there, but I'm not. I'm not. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if he's ending right now. Hang on. And I don't think that person's talking. Gosh darn it. Leave that one for a second. I think we're about to find out whether it's ending or not. It is. Like, like at this time, it's always hard. I cannot tell if he's starting up or shutting down because I'm <laughs> I don't know this aircraft for the love. I'm I'm gonna start getting it ready to go there, because that'll take me a little bit, and then hopefully by that point we will know for sure. I'm sorry. Always so good at this part. Oh, might be taking off again. Yes. Okay, hang on. Hang on. I think I think I, th I think he's taking off. All right. All right. All right. Um if I'm in a race and I overtake someone that was in second place, what place am I in? Second place. <laughs> Sneaky, sneaky. Uh, I would. I would be not impressed, but I would be curious um, if you can find one that I have that I haven't seen before. <laughs> I appreciate the effort. Um, so yes, I do. I th I think I think that he's taken off again. So we are set for that. We will do the things. So to whoever got lost and found their way here, <laughs> or found their way back. Thank you for being here. Uh, I appreciate you putting up with me. Um, I apologize for all the things. <laughs> I'm sorry if I missed things. I saw that there were things that I missed. Um, I did not mean to. Brain is gone at this point. So, yes. Um, and then... Thank you for Mustafa and Scotty Duhati, the raids. I appreciate it so much. Always good to see you. Um, and thank you for the follows. Um, thank you for, uh, the help, the flying along and the caffeine. Um, and yes, your patience. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Less than a second long list. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, it, for... So, I have, I have one person that I, fo I follow. I always forget to, like, follow people. <laughs> so, it's like I know them, and then I... It takes, yeah, I forget to follow them, and then eventually I remember to follow them. So I have one followed person at the moment for me. Um, so, yeah, so that's that's where we're going. And, yeah. So, um, yeah. <laughs> I, I think I got all my things in. Uh, <laughs> we are, we're, ba we're back from the holidays, so it's, it's, it's a thing. So, here we go, and we're doing the thing. And 
yes, again, we will be flying on Tuesdays, barring changes. We'll let you know in Discord, and we'll see where it goes from there. So, again, thank you. Thank you again so much. Have fun in the raid. I will be going to bed, so thank you, and bye. <laughs>